Hey, what's up? It's time again. It's time again. You finally bought new ones after the last time, after the last time like a year and a half ago. You, you turned your back for a second from the kitchen and when you turned it again, all of the spoons were gone and it was soup day. And all the spoons were gone. You couldn't even eat it. You had to throw out all of the soup. Every single barrel of it. You had to throw it all in the garbage. What about my sporks? All right, chat. Let's be fucking... Let's all slow down for one second. Like, maybe seven of you own sporks. Like, I'm going to say maybe seven, and that's being generous, actually own a spork. And, like, not like, oh, I've got a plastic one on hand. No, I mean, like, you bought a real spork from, like, the spork store. I don't believe it. Like, I, I, you can't just have, like, I got this one left over from when I went to a fast food place. Fuck you. I've got an artisanal spork. It's made by a master sh crafter in the Alps. Cost me $700. A sporksmith, if you will. My spork is from the Himalayas. Yeah, I, I kind of got a fancy spork in the on the way for Christmas if uh, my parents actually know what I want for Christmas. And it's a spork. It's a fancy artisanal spork. From, from, from deep in the mountains of the Himalayas. It's all I ask for every year. It costs $18,000. How much are you willing to spend on a spork? More than I'm willing to spend to improve my stream. Easy. Oof. Yeah, oof. I saw some people when I started asking, hasn't he played this game before? That's the magical part about the dark mod is that it's all modded levels. It's all player created. So, a matter of fact, I have played this game before, multiple times before. Uh, but I can tell you that whatever we play today will likely not have been something I've played before. So, uh, it's a good time. Uh, we're actually, this time though, we are doing something I've already technically done a little bit of. Because about a year and a half ago, I tried playing this and my power went out and I assumed that was a curse. Uh, so I didn't play it and finish the level I was on, which was coincidentally the largest level that has probably ever been or will ever be made for the dark mod. And I kind of was just like, fuck it, I don't wanna, and like pushed it away. Uh, we're gonna do that one again, because I only got about two steps into it before it crashed. I, I don't even think I collected a piece of loot from the map before uh, it crashed my entire stream and uh, my power went out. So, uh... I've checked the I've checked the weather charts. Uh, it's looking good out there. So unless there's like a like a freak flash storm, or someone cuts my power lines down, uh, I think I'm okay. This time. But who knows? Look, either way, I've got time to do a longer stream tonight. And I haven't done this in a while. I figured it would be uh, nice to loop around to the dark mod. I think this map will take all stream. If it doesn't, I've got another map uh, as well. But I think this one is an all stream map. Uh, it's very big. So that was a year and a half ago. I vaguely remember it happening in October, the power going out. It was before the, it was before winter, so yeah, like a, uh, more like a year and some change ago. But um, I mean, I never uploaded that VOD, so it's hard to tell. 
Bug Snacks was a, was a year ago. Okay, well, it was well over a year ago then. It might have been even two years ago. We haven't... Thief 2 has sort of stolen the Dark Mod spotlight because I... The Thief... There's a lot more to... There's a lot more levels in Thief 2 to play and to still play. But, uh... Yeah, this is, uh... This one will be good. Dark Mod is, is very well done, even though I have some parts of it that I prefer from Thief 2 over it. But you'll 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 notice my the, the issues I have with it pretty quickly. It's not bad. It's definitely a good it's definitely a good mod. It's absolutely a good and for the record it's not really a mod. It's more of a they call it a mod, but the dark mod is literally built from the ground up off of new code to basically be a sequel to Thief 2. So, it does some stuff right, and it does some stuff, uh, some stuff super wrong. Uh, you're not gonna see me trying to fight guys in melee. In Thief 2, you could sort of do it if you needed to. In this game, I'd rather die than get into a melee scuffle with someone. Uh, it's there, it's just not good. So that, don't worry though. Instead, we trade it off for having fun ragdoll physics. Um, I can, I can just throw these idiots anywhere. I also am balanced by the fact that in this game, I can't jump five miles through the air without touching the ground and knock someone out from across the room. Uh, I got very good at Thief 2. I would say I'm an expert at Thief 2 difficult uh, stuff. And most of it comes down to, I'm going to leap over everything in the room and instantly smack this guy in the back of the head before he can even turn to face me. And in this game, it's more of like, you, you can't, you can't do that. You can't, you simply can't. There's just no way. Why did you unblock that term? I, I feel like I gotta bring this up now before we get out, get this out of here. I see anyone saying any words from this game, some cuss words from this game. You're going to be in big trouble. Yeah, that's right. I don't want to see no one saying those things. It's toxic. I hate that word, dude. It's full of toxicity. Oh, hey, uh, we're doing Phasophobia on Thursday. That'll be fun. The gang's getting back together. Thursday at the normal time. In VR? No, I don't use VR anymore. <laughs> no, I'm gonna fucking play in VR. That, it's such a, a stupid question. Bad question, chat. Bad question. Go to the corner. Go to the corner. Stay in the corner. Yeah, gonna be a pretty loaded week up until Friday and Saturday, the holiday days where I may not be streaming because fuck you, dude. I absolutely won't be streaming on Christmas. I'm not a very festive person, but I don't want to stream on Christmas because it's also going to just so happen to align on the day I'd want to take off anyways. But I might stream on Christmas Eve. Because I don't consider that a holiday at all. Matter of fact, that's nothing. So that's just a day for me. So I'm probably going to be streaming all the way until uh, Friday. And then uh, I will be gone. For a day. <laughs> I'll be gone for the whole day. Enjoy your day off. Well, look. As far as I'm concerned, I had about four days off last week, courtesy of D&D. &D, so, uh, I'm, I'm ready to get some work in. I'm ready to do some streams. I, I'm actively trying to stream a lot this week. I've already got a plan for what I'm doing tomorrow. Should be fun. Ready for it to be your birthday? All right, let me make something clear. The only day I'm not willing to do the birthday bit is on Christmas, the birthday of uh, JC, 
Big JC, cause he would uh, rip me in half, dude, if he found out. I don't, praise, praise be. Uh, don't want to get involved in that. Don't want anything to do with that. You plan on doing more Monster Rancher? No. Matter of fact, I don't. Cumball's dead. Dude, I can't believe this streamer isn't gonna beat it! <laughs> I don't feel any desire to beat any game ever. And what Monster Rancher 2 did to me was so cursed, I couldn't believe it. Who finishes games in 2021? Who finishes games made in 2001 in 2021? Is more like. Probably even older. Like what, 2000? Like 1999? Those games are older than most of you. Yeah, you guys are so fucking... You don't even understand. Sad. Octopimp? Yeah, well, I I watched some of Octo streaming that game after because um, he kept saying things like... Uh, They'd never understand. These amateurs would, and I quote, never get it. He, he was talking a lot of mad shit. Uh, about uh, me specifically with his language and um, I went in there chat and I, I'm not gonna say anything but uh, seeing what I had to do to try to succeed in that game filled me with a kind of dread I don't think I, 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 I'm never going back in I'm never come balls dead come spoons dead they're dead I, I've seen I've seen what is expected of me to do it uh, now, and I am powerful enough to say no thank you. Hey, thanks Jezra for the 20 gifted subs. That's awfully kind of you. Thanks. Jet, look, instead of always asking when something's going to be finished or when I'm going to return to anything, instead assume that until I've returned to it, it's fucking canceled and you can stop asking. It's, <laughs> it's never coming back. Whatever it is that you're, you're thinking about, it's never coming back. Until I come, until I make it come back and then it'll be a nice surprise. Isn't that fun? Isn't that way better? It's a never coming back. Ever. Don't hold your breath. You'd die. <laughs> he hates D&D. D&D is quite literally never coming back. I got an email from everyone that DMs for me and they all said they've had enough. Actually, I'm gonna start picking out who I'm playing for Joe's other campaign. Cause I'm doing another campaign with Joe soon. And uh, I haven't, <clears throat> I haven't, decided on exactly who I'm playing. I've got like five different ideas. But that character I'm sort of playing a little more loosely right now because I want to basically just pick something that complements the group. I'm going to let everyone else pick their stuff and then just grab whatever's left. Monk Ranger type, right? Yeah, if I wanted to play the two most boring classes in the game back to back, you bet. <laughs> That's rude. Monks can be fun, but they look really boring. I, I even messaged like Joe about this because I was like wondering. The Ranger looks like shit. I feel bad for anyone that plays Ranger because oh my god, they look. I don't even have to play one to look at how underpowered they are from their like actual points. Same with Artificer. I'll never play the base game Artificer ever because of the fact that I've been spoiled by playing a way more fun version in Godforged. Um, Monk looks fun, but it looks like they're bad up until level 6, then they're fun till level 10, and then 
looking at their stats and the way that their damage scales up, it looks like they just be get completely overshadowed by everyone at level 10 until level like 17. And like I'm playing, for to be clear, every campaign I'm getting involved in is planning on going to high levels. Um, Monk is very one trick pony, yeah. It's like you're doing one thing forever. There's no variety. Like you're really just punching and doing like your couple of things. It's a hard class to multi-class with if you want to get some variety into it. It's just, it doesn't really seem like I, same as fighter. Nah, fighter's got tons of variety, dude. I, I've gone a lot, I've done a lot of deep diving lately with like fighter and like fighter like ideas and stuff. Fighter is dope. Fighter has so much to do. Monk, uh, Monk, on the other hand, I feel like it's just, it's a hard class to do much of anything else with. So if you're Monk, you're Monk. Uh, or you're like Monk with some rogue for sneak attack. Like Monk, Shadow Monk, and then some rogue seems like a good idea. But there's one thing I've learned about rogues. It's that you should never assume that everyone's going to play along with your rogue stuff. Uh, because I watched Model. I saw how Benji had to play Model and how he took Assassination subclass and then we never played along with it ever. Uh, because it's very group dependent if a rogue can actually do what they want to do or stealth classes can actually do what they want to do in a group because it's super RP reliant on everyone sort of getting it. Like, Assassin would be really good if everyone was like, oh yeah, we're going to do this. But like, if... In a lot of cases, it is the last thing people end up doing, especially on a map version of D&D. Like when you are on a map 24-7, like Brett's kind of stuff, never happens because everyone is able to move and function. In something like a Theater of the Mind game, like for instance, uh, Dodger's character in Godforge has time to do rogue things because Joe specifically cuts to them to give them the chance to. So there's a lot more time for them to fuck around with it. If I was going to play a rogue or sneaking class, it'd probably be in Joe's. It's not that there's anything wrong with the way Brett does it. It's simply that there's too much stuff going on for a rogue to be able to do any of the careful things they need to do in order to play their class, like properly with like the sneaking sort of stuff. It just doesn't happen. Which is too bad because, uh, Man, if we could have given Benji chances to use his actual rogue abilities, he could have broken people in half. Assassin is a really strong build, but, uh... I mean, can't you do Theater of the Mind on a map campaign too? It's harder to do. Like, there's less space for it from what I've seen, like, from Brett doing it, because, like, everyone is actively able to move, and typically, once you get into the cycle of, oh, I can always move and do something, and Brett will just jump to me. Uh, everyone's always on the same map, typically. You don't want half the group to be completely split up on a totally different map plane. So typically you don't have situations where, like, there's a bunch of people just, like, there's, there's maps being made, you know, like. It's usually a mix, but when it's all theater of the mind, there's a lot more space to pull the rogue aside and have them do something than when it's, like, 50-50. But I, I don't know, maybe Benji was just cursed. Because he I, I don't feel like he ever really got to play Rogue the way I think he wanted to. And I felt sort of bad, but like... We, ha we had a pretty silly group for goblins, so... It was never really going to happen in that group, unfortunately. But if I was going to do a monk, I'd probably do Monk of Shadows. And then multi-class into rogue if i was going to monk i'd probably do like teleporting in the shadows monk but uh i i'm still i don't think i ever want to play a monk dude it's so dude the only way i play a monk is if the dm assured me they would help homebrew weapons and gear for me to get because i think the most boring fucking thing about monk in DD is gearing and like items because it's all monk weapons and there's so few like the variety of that is like i don't know it, it just doesn't interest me that you can't like there's just not much to do there and compared to like other stuff you know 
It's like, it's really up to the DM to give monks meaning, like, as far as items are concerned. Because items are some of the most fun parts of D&D. And, like, having the character just lean back and be like, well, there's about one thing maybe that'll ever drop that'll actually pique my interest is pretty bummer zone, you know what I mean? Monk's whole point is that it doesn't need items. Just because something doesn't need it doesn't mean you should, t like, write that off as, like, something a player could never, like, achieve or receive. Like, everyone's playing the game. You shouldn't punish someone based off of their class choice from, like, being able to participate in a specific part of the game. You know? Like, that is, that is one of the most fun parts of D&D, I think, is, like, the whole sense of, like, discovery and finding new cool things to put on your character. And when, like, you are actively, by design not going to be able to participate in that as much. That's pretty, that's that's a pretty big turnoff for any character for me. Like, you know what I mean? That's why I actively want to play characters that can use weapons now. Like I want characters that can equip things and have like everything be an option. That's why I'm having fun with like, you know, Adelward is that he can equip everything. Even if he get, even if I get a weapon, that's a plus two. My spear is only a plus one. If I get a plus two weapon, I can literally take, if no one else wants that plus two weapon, I can make my spear a plus two spear off of that weapon. That's like how I upgrade my weapon is by permanently taking the magical essence out of that plus two and moving it to mine. I can do that. So like, even then I don't, like I always will be gaining stuff. Like I'm not shut out of the loot game, which is cool. I, I like being able to participate in that. Where can we see your D&D? Everywhere. It's also links. There's links. There's links. Just gets a straw and sucks the magic out of a sword. Pretty much. It's sort of fucked up how I do it. I don't think... It'll, I'm, not, I'm wondering if it'll ever happen. Because we're probably not getting plus two... Like, when I asked Joe about, like, plus two weapons and, like, magical items... Uh, he, he made it pretty clear that we weren't going to be running into high-level uh, magical weapons for a long time. So... Who knows? But uh, I've got a method to catch up because my my obviously I can't like equip a new weapon. My my character doesn't take new weapons, so yeah. But yeah, I need to think of it. I need to think of a new guy. Plus two is a pretty massive leap from plus one. Yeah, it is. I mean, I can make my weapon a plus two whenever I want. Technically, <laughs> y'all want to know something? Curse. I could make my weapon a plus three weapon in Godforged. It would take me. It would take me a long rest. Uh, <laughs> I, I have, I have the method to do that, but, um, I don't want to because I think that's the most boring way to spend my feet, like my points, uh, for my class is to, and not, instead of using my upgrades to get like fun lightning moves, using it to just get a flat damage boost is so fucking boring. Like that, that's, that's like the most boring, like shit you can do ever is like, just go after damage I want every character I'm designing for D&D that I want to play, like, builds and stuff, is, like, very, like, mechanically, like, involved. Nothing's like, ha ah, I just want to do a billion dice of damage and blow the person up. You know? Assassin could be great. Could be a great subclass if 5e had surprise rounds instead of surprise condition. Look, all it needs... Okay is the same fucking thing a lot of RPGs do when it comes to sur surprise mechanics in games. And it is like that sneak attack concept. A person can be in a fight with another party and if you aren't involved in the fight yet and then you break stealth to attack them, that should proc your surprise attack. That sh it shouldn't be a surprised condition. It should be you have surprised them with your attack because you weren't in the fight until right now. They didn't know you existed and suddenly they're being shot or struck from a place they had no idea to expect. So, I mean, that's how assassin should work. It doesn't. But, like, that's how it should, is, like, you know, a rogue could be able to go into the side of the room and say, hey, I'm going to prepare an attack, so I'm going to, like, just stay in stealth. And as soon as initiative starts, I'm going to attack. Uh, like, and do it like that. That's not how it works, which is a shame, but, uh... 
No, 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 Tomato, you don't understand. You need to drop one level into Fighter so you can get Action, action Surge and cast two level one spells per turn, otherwise the game's just boring. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm keenly aware of now all the cursed multi-class options players choose to get their, uh, bullshit meta crap out of the way. Trust me, if I wanted to play the game properly, I should roll into Hexblade whenever I play a, a melee class every single time. Should put one point into Warlock to get that smooth Hexblade. There's really no point in playing the game any other way. Get that Hexblade. It's a shame too, because there is actually a really cool Hexblade thing that I was like, ooh, that looks fun. But I know for a fact that I'm, I'm for sure without even a doubt in my mind, it is a meta thing that I would get picked on for playing despite the fact that I have done no research on if it is. But at one point I was like, I wanna play a swashbuckler Hexblade. But I was like, this is so obviously synergized that there is no way it isn't like a fucking, like everyone knows it's the strongest thing ever meta and I don't really want to do that. I don't really I don't really want to do like the the horrible monster that would be that, you know? Hexblade is the meta. It's fucking busted. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather play a blade singer than Hexblade. That seems way more fun cuz you get like full casting power. I'd rather, I'd rather play a, plus especially, I, I want to play a wizard in a long form campaign because then I'll get the fucked up level seven and up spells. I only had access to, in Brett's campaign, level five spells and below. We never, t I had level six and seven slots, but I didn't get access to any spells above level five. I'd really like to play a caster that can get all the spicy stuff. Power word kill. That spell sucks, dude. Why power word kill when you could summon a meteor strike that does on average far more damage and blows up everything else in like a quarter mile radius? Why ever? But yeah, I don't want to talk about, look, D&D has become sort of a constant intro conversation, but I'm making a point to not talk about it for more than like... 10, 15 minutes of stream now, so as to not drive everyone else that doesn't give a fuck about D&D insane. So, uh, all I'll say is, if you've ever had a curious interest in it, I play many campaigns. They're all very good. I recommend them all. And <laughs> Goblins is literally ending Wednesday, so if you've ever wanted to catch the whole thing, it's out there. You can watch all of it now. We are finishing the story on Wednesday. It's gonna be over. It's gonna be totally over. I, they lived, we all lived. Some of us didn't participate in the final fight, so it was a lot more obvious that we'd live, but uh, everyone lived, we all survived. Unless someone dies in the next session. What happens after goblins? We move on to phase three. We've got another group. Unless uh, something changes, my next character is going to be an Echo Knight. Uh, barbarian or warlock, depending on which Thing I need to fill in the group. Both options are so unbelievably cursed. Uh, one or the other. I have, I have, I have two unbelievable. Yeah, it's the existential. It's the existential crisis plasmoid that isn't really a plasmoid because we're not using the UA format. But uh, we are. It's going to be a plasmoid, so basically. In all, in everything but abilities, because we we don't want to use the UA stuff in case it's like wildly um, unbalanced. But I'm sure that if plasmoids were brought into official content over the course of Phase Three, Brett would just let me switch race basically into it because it's really plasmoid in everything but name and abilities. But uh, yeah, maybe we'll see. So it's a changeling. It's more. It's mostly a changeling. But it's a changeling that can't really hold a physical form in the way that a normal changeling can. And I'm not going to be playing it like a changeling. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be fun. I'm very excited. But, uh, 
Yeah, that that's happening probably in January. I don't know when that campaign's starting. Genetic downward spiral goop. Well, look, I've already said the co the RP concept for this character is that rather than an Echo Knight being like, haha, I'm making just like weird clones of myself, I'm quite literally going to RP it as if my character, this sort of amoeba-esque blob, is just shooting out blobs of himself that will then, for a short amount of time, gain complete sentience. <laughs> And then when they die, I am going to RP a complete mental break as my character wrestles with the concept of literally losing offspring right in front of them horrifically in the middle of a fight. <laughs> I am, that is going to be the RP. Like, uh, it is not, like, I, there's certain things I'm going to hold myself to when I play that character. Like, I'm not going to let my Echo Knight's ability float in the air. They're going to be stuck to the ground. They're going to follow the rules of, like, terrain. I'm going to nerf Echo Knight to do that because I want to play it in the right, like, RP. Because I want them to be, like, actually present physical entities as far as, like, RP is concerned. Have you chosen a voice? No. But I have an idea. <laughs> I, I, have a, I have a fun idea for this character. I don't want to spoil everything. Chat voice? No, it's nothing to do with like a specific kind of voice. It's just how I might do voices for it. Try this one, tomato. Ooh, I'm a clone. That's uh, that's pretty good RP, guys. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's really good, dude. Fuck yeah. That was really good. Let's give a hand for that person. Woo, dude. Fuck yeah. Try this one, tomato. Hello, it's me, character. Nice! There it is again! See, the good news is that, like, uh, I, I've designed the guy in a way that I will get to Echo Knight regardless, and then I can basically just pivot into whichever subclass I want, like, uh, for the multi-class, and fill either a caster role or a melee brawler role super easily, which will be really fun. Because I have no idea what everyone else is playing. They've given me, they've, they've all been sort of vague. So I'm, I'm able to fill either of two roles. So I'm locked into the class no matter what, because it's going, I can very easily, both, both options are pretty solid. Full caster melee is most fun. Well, the caster one is unbelievably cursed. It's all within the rules. It's all pretty, like, it's all legal. Um, but I got it. It's, I saw, it's, it's not 100% something I designed. It was from a forum post that I saw. Deep within the depths, the bowels of forum posts while I was, like, deep diving for, like, like concepts. And I was like, oh, my God. This is so spicy. Like this is, it, it, it's all, it's all allowed. There's no part of it that's rule breaking or even really stretching the rules. It's just so cursed. It, it, it is, it's not OP. It's just the idea of how it works is just going to be so much fun. Like it's both options that I'm doing are really fun. I'm super excited for the, like for that idea. As long as the types of actions don't allow, there's no part of it that's breaking any rules or like even really stretching it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. But yeah, I'm not talking. Session zero is party over planning, party over player planning, making it so everyone's got a role they can fulfill. So hopefully everyone at the party is on the same page, the page that the party creates. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> like I was saying, uh, Brett, if you just came in, um, at least as far as the concept that I sent you, as long as that's all still good to go, um, my character can stretch either direction. I've got I've got two separate like directions to go with it, so I'm pretty confident that I will synergize really well with everyone because I will 
actively switch to working with whatever we need. At like level five. <laughs> For the first couple levels, I'm going to be a fighter. I, I don't have a choice on that. Because I need to get, like, if I want, chat, if I was trying to meta, if I was trying to chase, like, being the most powerful version of myself as quickly as possible, I would level up either of the subclass options before I leveled up the fighter, uh, like the the, multi, the other class that I'm multi-classing into. But I want to do the bit, or it's not funny, <laughs> or the character doesn't work. So I'm, I need to get to Echo Knight as fast as possible so I can actually do the joke. Or it doesn't matter, nothing matters. I need to do the bit, so. <laughs> Better it's like a level nine bit and God knows how long into it that could take. Well, let me be clear, all right? I, I, the character, I put a lot of actual thought into this character, like as, as much as I put into uh, Adel Ward and Joe's campaign. So he's got a full on, he's got a whole thing going on before that whole concept, but the earlier I get to that, the sooner I can elaborate on everything else with the character. So I, I can't be like, all right, we'll get to the funny part of this character that like was the whole reason I made him at level nine. <laughs> all that for a bit. This is not a joke character. Let me let me be clear. I I will never make a joke character that is exclusively for a joke. I love the con. Let me. I love the concept of this character. I, I have, I've put a lot of thought into them. Uh, so it's, it's cursed. That's what one shots are for. Brett, I, I, I do hope, I don't know if we'll have the time. I hope we'll have the time. I hope it ends up being something that we're able to do before phase three starts fully. Cause I, I offhanded mentioned the idea, uh, Joe and I had for, uh, <laughs> the heist thing. <laughs> Cause I think that would be such a fucking awesome, like, one-off bit stream. I want to do that. For In case you missed it, chat, uh, Joe and I wanted to, and I asked Brett about it, wanted to do a, wanted to try to do a one-off to actually RP out the idea of uh, Sterling and Clurt trying to actually trick a bank into buying our fake two-ton diamond. <laughs> and like a one-off, cause, cause it just felt like such a like big plot point to do like off camera. So we want to try to do like a heist stream of it. As like a sort of like send off for that idea. It's this again. <laughs> no, listen here. All right, because here's the thing. I've already mentioned like sort of how I want Clurt's kind of story to end leading into Wednesday's session tomorrow. And part of it involves a lot of money. Part of it involves having a lot of money. So I, I genuinely believe that Clurt needs to make this money in order to pull off the idea. So like... I'd love to have the chance to like, not obviously not in the next day, but like get to cover that plot line in one way or another before phase two ends. What's your favorite class? I've only played two. <laughs> I've only played Bard, which I would say was the best D&D uh, &D choice I could have made for a first class because it was, it filled everything I wanted to do. Um, I had a lot of fun playing Clarent. And, uh, I, I've played a homebrew class, <laughs> which has been fun, but unbelievably cursed. Joe and I have had to do a lot of, uh, patching of that one behind the scenes, um, to fix it. Because despite the fact that it's made by a very, um, high quality homebrew writer, it's got a bunch of weird stuff in it. I mean, I've also played a cleric, but, um... Obviously, I didn't have much time to play that, so I don't. I I would count it as like if I wanted to play. I, I would say that I never really actually properly played a cleric. Um. But uh, yeah. I mean, favorite class conceptually that I like the idea of. 
and want to play more of is Fighter. Like, like genuinely, I haven't played one, but almost every, like I, I see so many different versions of Fighter and I'm like, I wanna play, I wanna play Fighter like really badly. Like I wanna play like Fighter right now. Like I already wanna play another Fighter with the mounted combat, like Cavalier build and like actually play with like a mount properly. Cause like, I, I wanna like try that out and like get involved in that kind of thing too. But uh, yeah. I can definitely say which classes I don't. Tomatoes farm and get them out to play champion. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I champion looks like boring. That looks like the most boring version of fighter. That's like the one I absolutely wouldn't play is champion. Look, the thing that's cool about fighter is that fighter gives you so much control over your build that it's so accessible to go, okay, I've gotten to this point of fighter. I'm now going to make this a warlock fighter. I'm going to make this a wizard fighter. Like you can easily pivot at almost any point in fighter to a multi-class, which makes it really interesting because it means that you can literally change your character in the middle of a campaign to fit any archetype that your team needs, which I think is so rad. I like not feeling uh, pigeonholed into stuff in D&D. What about Samurai? What about Samurai? I'll never play one. <laughs> I'll never play one because I, because I don't know how I'd explain that in RP. <laughs> yes, I've taken up the Nippon Steel uh, 20,000 folds. I've become a master of the blade. Yeah, we're not. I don't. I don't think I'd ever play that. But anyways, I'm never talking about D and D again until next time I talk about D and D. Ever. We're not doing it anymore. Bro, all this D&D &D talk, bro. Yeah, I know. Look, dude. Imagine if I didn't talk about it, though. I would just go fucking insane. And then one day, you just see me crack. Like, just snap like a twig. And I just start screaming about it. And I never stop again. So, you know. You know, dude. Look, when I've played enough D&D &D that it's all out of my system, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> but I haven't. First 24 hour stream. I will never do a 24 hour stream. I've watched people do those, dude. And honestly, the only reason I come by them is to start at the beginning and take a screenshot of their big smiling face at the beginning of the stream and then get like a nice fun comparison image done of them at 16 hours in when they've realized they still have a whole third of the stream left to go and they look like they're fucking dying. They look like death. Like the it's not 24 hour mark. That's the best because that's when they've gotten their second wind or third wind. But the 16 hour mark is really potent because it's right after their second wind has gone away. And they're just dying. They're just dying again because their body's asking for the sweet, sweet release that isn't coming for another 18, well, eight hours. See, you wanna know how you ID a sicko though, like a real freak? in a stream like I'm talking about a real freak it's when a person does a 24 hour stream and then they say yeah I can keep going I keep going because I feel like it that's uh that's a freak uh I, I've seen people like that too and they are freaks that, that's like a that's the thing like a weirdo does but I mean yeah more power to him dude uh I respect my body I'm withering away. I'm 25 and I feel like I'm 45. Uh, I have no desire, no amount of money could get me on a stream for 24 hours, let alone 12 hours. 
I... I'm quite happy where I am. The best I can do you is 12 cents. Subathons are morbid. Look, dude, if I needed... If I needed money bad, I feel like the first thing I'd do is stream more. Or do merch. I don't think I would do... A subathon. I don't think that's my thing. Get a job, lol. <laughs> Look, every streamer has a different amount of investment they put into their, uh, their stuff, but I would definitely ID my stream as a job. <laughs> I, 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 I've put enough. While, yes, I don't have... It's a different kind of effort than, like, say, working retail or something. It's totally... They're incomparable. Like, the kinds of things that you're doing in them. I, I have put enough sweat and stress and probably cut a couple years off my life from just the anxiety and work of it all, that uh, while yes, I will never say my job is as hard as like working in other jobs that people my age work in, because it isn't. Um, I, it, it, would dri it drives me crazy when someone's like, it's not work. <laughs> you don't have a real job, get a real job. <laughs> I know you're goofing, but like that stuff drives me insane because uh yeah, I I have I have put in insane hours and only and not just that, I don't have the option to clock out. So, while yeah, I'm not working as intensely and actively as some people in a job where there's a boss staring over your shoulder the whole time. Instead, I have a constantly on job that I can't leave no matter what because it's always in my head and because I'm my own boss, I literally can't step away no matter how hard I try. Breaks are never breaks, days are never days off. Like no matter what I want to do because it's always fucking there. You know what I mean? You can't just disconnect from that. But yeah, no, I'm still, like, I could definitely say, you know, I'm very lucky and I would be the first to tell you that my job is way easier than a lot of other people's jobs, uh, in some ways, you know? But in other ways, I am constantly ridden with so much fucking anxiety and stress. <laughs> Dude. And I'm constantly, uh, forced to wrestle with the exact logic that one day I might not be funny anymore. And when I'm not funny anymore, my entire career will go up in flames and I will no longer be able to support myself because all of my success and income is entirely based around the idea that I remain entertaining to an audience. <laughs> you never were a mega lull. <laughs> yeah, that happened a year ago, dude. Like, I don't, my, my job is not like a set in stone, like, ah, uh, yes, as long as this company remains, I remain. My job only exists as a result of, uh, you know, my, my ability to continue to do exactly what I'm doing without ever missing a step. That's stressful. LMAO companies go down, layoffs happen. Yeah, so it's like there's always there's always that sort of job security loss. But in this one, a lot of your job security is based entirely on you, and you can't rationalize your failure on anything else other than this is my fault, I fucked up, my career is over because of me. And that's a that's a stressful thing. When you can't point the finger at like a like a higher up and be like, it's their fault that I, I, I am out of work. You know? It's all on you. Even if it's not necessarily always. But yeah, no, I, I, that, 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 no one no one caused me to say that. Just the record, that's just like that was just a little bit of little insight conversation. I'm not, I'm good, chat. Like, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, a, I'm in a very happy place in my life, to be clear. I, that, that is just like observations I have working in this industry for, you know, nine. How old am I? 25. I started streaming when I was 
15 or 16. Well, not streaming YouTube when I was 15 or 16. Yeah, about nine years. So I've I've got a lot of I got a lot of insight on this job because it's really I've worked another job and it was a hard job, but uh I've got I've had a lot more time in this one. <laughs> Although I will say 100% of the time, uh, I find YouTube easier than I find Twitch. To me, in a lot of ways, uh, in other ways, not so easy. But YouTube, poopy. Yeah, it's pretty bad out there. I'm 31 and I'm gonna be 32 in February. I'm probably like the third oldest person in here. I have, dude, no, I have like fucking straight up. I, there's plenty of pe like older people in the stream. I'm keenly aware of that. There's plenty of ancients. <laughs> I'm trying not to. No, no, no. Ignore that. That was me being mean. Uh, but. <laughs> I, I think that's fucking rad, though. I, I mean, I had like a. I had a pretty significant section on like YouTube analytics of like 50 year olds and above. And I was like, whoa, is that people just lying about their age? And to an extent, yes. <laughs> to an extent, yes. But, um. Yeah. Now can the youngest in the stream reveal themselves? Not if they don't want to get fucking banned. Dude, sometimes we get those people that come in and they fucking like a complete buffoon out here. Go, I'm fucking 13, dude. And then they get banned. Because they're not allowed. All you have to do is lie. I'm four. <laughs> ah, and they think it's a bit when it happens right now. Mods, mods. Finish them. Destroy them. Destroy them all. Yes. Wait, it was a bit? No. Honestly, the chat communicates about as well as my two year old. Damn! Boom, dude! Why is it so fucking hot in my room today, dude? I'm like sweating. My room never changes temperatures from 70, which means I'm sweating for some other reason. got the rona no -uh. i've got i got my booster like two weeks ago now or something so the rona quite literally can't cannot find any purchase on my body again i'm officially mostly pers uh, immune again i've got too many g's of power deflecting it yeah dude i got my booster pack I got Omicron, it isn't shit. Well, you gotta remember that it's not necessarily, to my knowledge, more... Like, it's not like the the Omicron version is suddenly more instantly deadly. It's not exploding your lungs. It's more contagious. <laughs> so, like, once it's there, it ha for now, it's mostly just the same thing to an extent. It's just more contagious. It's just more likely you will catch it. It doesn't mean you're like... Eh! You know? Wait, we can explode now? Yeah, does it- the, they're saying that it might actually explode your lungs. But, um... 
from what I've heard about uh, family members that have literally had the virus, I have never had the virus, that have had the virus, uh, and I quote, they still can't breathe right from when they had it last fucking Christmas. So, you know, <laughs> I'll, I'll keep on, uh, I'll keep on avoiding the, uh, the virus to the best of my ability. Yeah. <sighs> As a healthy 20-year-old, it fucked me up. It's all case by case, but, uh... I... I, I saw enough from my own family getting it that I was like, Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I dropped my guard for, like, two months after I got my vaccine. Like, my original vaccine. And then... I was... And then I remembered, and I was like, No, no, no! And I started dousing myself in hand sanitizer again. I, I will never, ever, ever take a fucking chance, ever. If you never go outside, you'll never get it. It's not the outside that bothers me, it's the inside outside. Does that make sense? I'm totally comfortable out in like, the trees and the grasses and the parks, but if it's like going into an, a, a building, oh, uh, now I'm getting a little bit spooked. I got a lot of idiots out where I live, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? I've got a lot of fucking buffoons out here. So uh I I don't I still avoid going out. What do you mean, brother? Mmm. <laughs> <sighs> mm. <laughs> Oh shit, here we go again. Yeah, that's one thing I am very grateful for is uh, that my whole job is from home and nothing has really changed for me in any sort of meaningful way over the last two years. I'm gonna avoid going out again even when it's all over, if it'll be over. Dude, same dude, nothing changes, bro. I've been here since fucking 2015, my guy. Fuck yeah, dude. I've been social distancing since 2015. Whoa. Stole my joke. If you think I'm the first person or you're the first person to make that joke, you are fucking your bananas, dude. I don't know what to tell you because that joke's probably made about five million times in the last year. I was. I made that one. No, you didn't. No, you fucking didn't. The chat is joke donation service to the streamer anyways. Yikes. Dude, if you don't want me to read your chat message, just don't say anything. How about that? Just don't fucking say anything then. Okay. God, I would I would truly love to stay here and talk to you for hours about random bullshit, but I've I've had enough. I've had enough. I'm gonna go to the bathroom when we come back. I will start the dark mod. It, it'll be it'll be time. It'll finally be time. I'll be right back.
I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Everything's fine. A little bit freaking mad, but it's no biggie. Chat, it's been a while since we played the dark mod. We played Thief, but uh, the dark mod is a different kind of stealth game. And by different kind, I mean it's basically an exact replica of Thief 2, but with different maps and uh, some changes to how stealth and combat works. I like it quite a bit. It's uh, it's solid, and there's a big, big, big map that came out like a year and a half ago that I played for about 20 minutes on a stream, and then the stream shut down because my power went out, and then my power continued to go out every single month for the next six months uh, on like a monthly loop. So, uh, I've never really played this map, but it's apparently very good and very large. It should run a whole stream. That was about a year and a half ago. <laughs> so, I wanted to finish this before Christmas happened. So, this will be a, this will likely be a until I beat the map stream, and then, uh, I'll be back again tomorrow for uh, the other thing I have planned leading into Goblins, which will then lead into Thursday, which will be uh, Phasmophobia with uh, Ben and Dave. We haven't checked that game out since um, since the launch of the game. Uh, Bed's played a little bit, but Dave and I haven't touched that game since the original launch of it. So all the new content, we've never seen it. So that'll be... That'll be something. That'll be a good time. It's been ages since I've played that game. But yeah, if you really don't know what the dark mod is, think Thief 2 with an updated uh, engine for physics and graphics. If you like me playing Thief 2, you will like the dark mod. It is a lot of people that made maps for Thief 2 moved over to making maps for this. Uh, we're going to be playing The Painter's Wife, which is made by a team of people. Uh, like I said, I only played like 20 minutes of it, so it's pretty much all new. My wife. <laughs> Bang that person. Bang that person. You wanna- how about you go watch that movie if you wanna watch something so bad and reference things? Ban that person! Yeah, put it on their permanent record. Forever! Wanna say anything else? Oh wait, you can't- Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! Ah, yes! Alright. The Painter's Wife. I can't remember if this one has full voice acting or not. It might. These are made by fans, by the way. Man's strength lies in those who stand beside him. He who knows no brotherhood takes no shelter among companions. He'll face wolves alone in the dark of night. My old friend Andreas urgently needs my help. He's got a small apartment in a quaint part of the city called Merkway Quarter, where he makes a modest living off paintings he sells to pompous nobles and the odd merchant. He asked if I could meet him at the Lion's Head Inn. Not long ago, his wife Lily was hired as a servant at the manor of the local alderman, one Lord Marlowe. Now she hasn't been home for days. Andreas went to the manor looking for her, but the guard shoved him into the gutter and warned him not to return. Andreas is certain that something bad has happened, and I don't think he's wrong. Putting myself in harm's way isn't something mm -hmm. I take lightly. Okay. Especially when it comes to men like Marlo, who dole out their own brand of justice. But I owe Andreas my life for pulling my frozen body out of the city canal all those winters ago. Write that all down. My first order of business is Write to this find down. Write this down. Really is. Andreas believes the servant's wing is in the manor's basement. Write this so down! I'm there first. While I'm there, I'm 
must also deal with Marlo okay. one way or another. We're killing that guy. We gotta kill Marlo. His men after us. All right. And even though kill this lady. is the priority, I'll be helping myself to whatever trinkets I Take find. Take their drinks. Take the drink. Take the chair. Andrea We're gonna steal the chair. Billy overheard the guards talking about a very expensive painting. And that painting. Steal the painting. On the top and the floor. chair. Swiping that would be a damn good start. Okay. Andreas has given me a map of Merkway Quarter, which should make Big navigating map. this maze of stone and beam easier. Okay. He also mentioned there's a weaponsmith and apothecary nearby, so I should stock up on supplies before heading. Literal four-hour map. Uh. <laughs> All right, Jet. So here's the thing about Thief and Dark Mod is that typically in these games, rather than difficulty making enemies better, uh, it changes objectives and also changes enemy placements. So easy, for instance, our objectives are pretty affordable amount of money. Pretty easy to get that amount. Um, don't kill any innocent civilians, stuff like that. If we were to turn up the difficulty, it would change from don't kill any innocent of civilians to don't kill any guards, but you can kill criminals. Difficult would be uh, no more than six knockouts, don't kill fucking anyone. Uh, I typically like playing on medium where you can't kill guards, but you can do anything with anyone else. Uh, you can still knock out guards, to be clear. You just can't kill them. Tomato, haven't you played this before? Oh, fuck, chat. Oh, god damn it. You're right. Fuck, I've played this game before. I gotta get out of here. What are you... Dude. <laughs> yeah. I've even played part of this map before, but then my power went out. As I explained, uh, which is why we're playing it again, because I got about five minutes into it and saw uh, pr I pretty much went around one corner and then everything shut down. So um, we're doing it again. Now, I'm willing to play it. Check, because here's the thing. Just because it's the only real difference here is the grab part and not being able to kill guards. I'm willing to play on easy so we can goof around and murder people and have some fun in this space uh, and just say that I'm not allowed to leave until I get $4,800 because there's no difference in them other than the amount of money really and like who I can and can't kill but uh, Dark Mod in my opinion unlike Thief 2 has some really aggravating guard mechanics where they never forget you ever where we might genuinely have more fun playing it if I play it on easy because at least then when they don't forget me I can uh, cut their face off with a sword which I won't be allowed to do otherwise the only way to dispatch a guard in this is to wait 20 minutes for them to forget you exist and I don't exaggerate when I say 20 minutes you can't knock guards out in the middle of them being aware of you like you can in Thief 2 if they are even slightly keyed in on your existence, you cannot knock them out in Dark Mod. Like, they are locked on, impossible to deal with. So I think I'm going to play on easy just so we can actually deal with guards however we want and have some fun with it and not watch me, to, like, just spiral into insanity. Uh, and then I can actually kill people and cut their faces off. But I'm going to say that I can't leave the mission until I have about 5,000 gold in order to balance it a little bit. So we're gonna play on easy, but we're going to use the hard difficulty gold collection. Okay, oh, get your Omega Laws out of the way now. Everyone laugh. Everyone go ahead and laugh. Go ahead, laugh, hee hee. He's playing on easy mode. Laugh it up. Have your laughs now. Go laugh it, laugh up, fine, it's whatever. We'll see who's laughing. We'll see who's laughing soon enough. Start the level. It's gonna take about 30 minutes for the level to load because this level's, again, like, very big. Um, this is, um, I feel like some of you that haven't seen Dark Mod before might not get it. Uh, this is some of my favorite, mo like, player-created things I've ever played have been in this mod which is not really a mod. I think calling it a mod is actually not fair to it. It is a totally standalone product. But uh, there's some very elaborate stuff in this game. 
Streamer makes the audience laugh at him, Krungo. Shut up! I'm getting angry! There needs to be more thief-like games. I'm, I'm excited for that Gloomwood game. Or Gloom whatever game that's being made by the Dusk devs. When's that fucking coming out? I want that. When's that happening? That's like my most anticipated game of whenever it comes out. That's like one of the that's like one of the only indie games I'm actually excited to come out. When's that coming? I want to play Gloomwood. Gollum game? I don't want to play the Gollum game. <laughs> I I don't I don't want to play Gollum game. If I wanted to play Gollum game, I'd play a normal co-op game with Sam and ask him to just do the Gollum voice forever because he does a really good Gollum voice. I just ask him if he could RP as Gollum the whole time because he'd probably be willing to. Sam does like a premium uncanny Gollum voice. All right, chat. It's time to get out there. Quick save as soon as I get in. Okay. Bring her back, Palmer. If Marlowe's done anything to her, I, I can't bear thinking about it. Yeah. Sure, boss. Whatever you say. Whatever you say. Oh, I actually couldn't throw him over the balcony in one before it ended my game. Sometimes it lets you throw. Uh, pit. You can pit. you can just knock someone out. You can knock out anyone you want in this game. It's all ragdolls, so you can just fucking fling them around. It's really fun. All right, chat. So let's check the objectives properly now. Rescue the painter's wife and bring her back to the apartment. Corrupt nobles like Marlow only understand wealth. Steal his most prized painting. Easy peasy. While you're at the mansion, deal with Lord Marlow. We can't kill him. We probably have to blackmail him. Uh, get in, get out, no need to take unnecessary risks. We are going to be going for about 4,800 gold. This is not accurate. Uh, the guards know what they've signed up for. Don't hurt any civilians. Once the night's tasks are complete, make your way to the passage at the West City Gate. Okay. Well, Chet, it's pretty dark for all of you. So before I continue, I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Just a smidge for you. Uh, not for me, for you. Because, uh, I know it's called Dark Mod, but it's a little bit too dark for stream. There we go. That should be better. I'm keeping the light gem at the bottom on this time, because, uh, otherwise people, uh, get baffled by the fact that a guard can't see me. Usually I have this thing turned off, but this follows Thief Rules, chat. Quite literally. So right now, I'm visible to basically people from planes. If a plane was passing overhead, everyone could look out their window and see me. They'd be able to look out their wing, like the window, like on the plane and see my character from a mile away. They'd all point and they'd go, that's him. Mom, look, it's the thief. And then they'd call the police on me from there and then a guard would shoot me from like that balcony. Uh, but if I'm standing uh, like right about here and I crouch, I'm basically completely invisible to the human eye. You could be basically, you could be sitting on me and you'd think that I was a box on the ground before you thought I was a human being. And that's pretty much all you need to know about the stealth in this game. It follows thief rules for better and worse. Uh, this is quite literally, I'm invisible. If you walk into me, you will pass through me before, you'll think that you've reached a thick piece of air before you think that there's an actual person there trying to get you. So let's do a, let's do an inventory check here. Let's figure out what I actually have on me, the map. Oh boy! Uh, okay, so this is the full map of Merkway Quarter. Right now we are on Cobble Street and we're sitting on the Lion's Head Inn balcony. We can see that based off a little hexagonal well. thing. Please hurry. I haven't walked off yet, my guy. Shut the hell up. Mongrel Mary, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, what else do we have? We got our lock picks. We got our lantern. I'm pretty sure bindings work in this game. So L for lantern, M for map. This map will update when we move. But chat, it's time. 
We don't necessarily have to go to the objective right away. I'm just saving quick. Uh, we want to get to Marlowe Manor in the bottom southeast, but there's nothing saying we have to go immediately. And we do want the money, which means I think the most uh, intelligent thing we can do right away is break from the path, because there's no invisible walls stopping me from going anywhere. And uh, let's just do some classic, basic thieving. I think I'm legally allowed to traverse. I'm gonna quick save a lot at the beginning of this, by the way. I think I'm legally allowed to traverse on the ground as well. I can like jump onto the bottom floor if I need to. But uh, I'm just trying to find things to break into right now. Like I see, I see something over there. Hang on, I see something. We want money more so than anything right away. And I see something I want. Where, 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 what do we have here? Where, 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 what do we have? What do we have here? What is, now, what is this? Sass? Sass? Look, the one thing we don't want to do is go onto the ground floor. Those guards down there would rip me to shreds. Let's check out what's inside here. Now, chat member, this game uses thief mechanics on audio as well. So walking on metal, you want to hold control to slow yourself down or you will be incredibly audible to anyone inside of a building. But since it looks like I'm in vents, I'm gonna turn on the lantern for now. All right, look, look, we're, go we're in here for money. Okay, we're not, this isn't an objective. We're here for money. There's cobwebs in my eyes, shut up. Don't you want money? Cut the lights. Just dumps us out in another part of the city. Let's check the other side. Whoa, easy there. Just vents. Do these all just lead to... Okay, this takes us to the other side of the building. We want to be extremely thorough because we want to get basically every part. What if the map is haunted again? Everyone knows for sure. There's a 50... Fun fact, chat. Every thief and, by extension to that dark mod map in history, has a 50% chance of also being horror. Uh, and being extremely scary. So, um, be ready for pretty much anything on that front. I gotta check if I can climb this. Hang on, this is, a, this is an important thing to check uh, before we do anything. Can I climb these kinds of things? Okay. All right. Now, uh, I've kind of already gotten lost in the plot of where I'm going. But I, I will root whatever's in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I'm stealing from someone's attic. Creepy. Fucking thing. Don't like this. Can I just go ahead and throw it out the window? Stealing from a kid. No, 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 no. But I will eat their bread. That's mine. There's nothing in here to steal. They don't, what the hell? It's like a scary ax. I can't yeah, quite seem to get it out of here. Look, chat, what I do is take things and take them out of the building. That's, that's what I do. I don't steal. I simply remove things from the building. There's nothing in here to steal. I'm not seeing any items. I'm seeing an empty potion and a lantern this was a, this, I, st I broke into this person's room for nothing, is what I'm seeing. But uh, they had a cauldron and a broom and a rock or a vase or something or an urn. So I can only assume they were some kind of witch and that makes me not feel so bad. Don't see anything else, so I broke into this person's room for nothing. Goodbye. It was a witch's house, I don't feel bad and neither should any of you. Let's just keep looking around. Uh huh. I want back. I want double back. Hang on. I want to double back because um I want to. I just want to do. I want to do a quick double back. Cause there's two ways to go here, and um actually, no. Never mind. This is putting us near Factory Square, which is a dead end on the street. We're gonna go to Stevenson and Sons before we do anything. I want to do that, cause that's a dead end on the map. 
That's a good spot to go to first because we may never come back here after this. We're gonna go to Stevenson and Sons and loot whatever's there because that's right there. That's that spot. Can I zoom in this? No. Darkmont doesn't have zoom eye. We're going to Stevenson and Sons for whatever they have. Ooh. That's a 25 gold. Chat that chat we're like a fucking hundredth of the way there, dude. Eh. Oh. I don't know how to easily and carefully get there without breaking my character's legs. Uh but it looks like we're doing it. Uh yeah, we we we're gonna get there fine. Ah! Oh. Your character takes a lot of fall damage in this game. So, um, you know, be aware. I'm I'm scared for a fucking valid reason. My character could break every bone in his body falling five feet. We're in, Stevenson and Sons. These guys got a lot of money in the bank, chat. All right, they're high-tech industry family. Lots of stuff we could... There's just a guy, there's just a guy. He doesn't look like he has a weapon. I think that's a civilian, not legally allowed to kill him. All right, I'm going in. I'm technically completely shrouded in darkness. He just thinks it's very dark outside and that's why he can't see past me. Yeah, I, I'm fully allowed. He's gonna hear me the second I drop down onto the fucking rocks here. He's gonna hear, he's gonna hear the, I'm just gonna like crunch onto the ground. I'm st I'm kind of shrouded in darkness. I'm I'm trying to ease into the shadows. I'm I'm shrouded. All right, Stevenson, you son of a bitch. I've told him to keep better measurements. His experiments are a disaster waiting to happen. I'm completely shrouded in darkness. He's looking right at me. He's looking back, he looked away. Come on, Stevenson. Walk by the door. Come on, Stevenson. You know you want to, man. Come on, you've done this a thousand times. You're not Stevenson, you're Lewis. That's kind of out. All right, where's all your money? Lewis, I've been looking through our material acquisitions and goods sold and something doesn't add up. You have to make more detailed production entries when using the equipment. If there are scraps or failures in casting metal, it has to be reported in the machinery logs. Consider this fair warning. Further failures of material usage will force me to bring it up with Mr. Stevenson, Oliver, head of Merkway Waterworks. This guy's a hack. He's not even the guy. I killed that guy for nothing. Chat, this game follows Batman Arkham Asylum logic, which is that he is unconscious, quote unquote. But really, um, he he will never wake up. So he's dead. <laughs> he's he's unconscious. So uh we knocked him out for nothing because there's no money to be made in this place, evidently. Wait a minute. I was able to interact with that. Mm. A lot of dark mod maps have hints to where stuff can be, is the trick about them. So, this scroll may imply where something could be. Perhaps in the Merkway Waterworks. And where the hell would those be? There's some bridges I see. Oh, there we go. Merkway. There's the Merkway Road to the south. There might be something there. Hang on, let me check on the other side of this machinery for stuff this guy might have just hucked on the other side of it. Just real quick. Nothing. I killed that guy for nothing. <laughs> I 
can't take the golden chest to chat because I can only take stuff that glows. Might be something up here though, like this box of cocaine, no. Well, that guy died. Oh, no, that's worth it. Flash mines. Uh, those will instantly knock out anyone in the game if I hit them with a blackjack right afterwards. That's worth it. That'll let us clear some enemies later. All right, chat. Let's get a move on. I know for a fact I could go to the ground if I want to. I'm just not sure the benefit of doing that unless I see, like, door handles. If that makes sense. Like, unless... Because it's easy to get back up. There's, like, bar... There's, like, pipes and stuff you can climb... But there's nothing to go in. Oh, god damn it. Son of a bitch. I think that has a sword on the front. That might be a guardhouse. Am I willing to break into a guardhouse for money? Is that really where I want to immediately go? Yes. All right, chat, we're going for it. That guy sees me. That guy, that guy literally saw me. Guys, come on. Come on. Are we really... Are we doing this? I'm legally allowed to kill you. See? I don't even get in trouble for that. He blocked that with his fucking bare hands. Let's just get... Let's get a redo on this one. That guy... That guy's gonna be calling for help for ages. We're gonna get a redo, we're gonna go down there, we're not gonna stand in the fucking spotlight this time and get caught. Cause I'm gonna do, gonna do this much faster. Come on! Alright. We're here. Guard station. It's fucking locked. I don't know if I remember how to pick lock in this. Hang on. I'm pretty sure in this one you have to actually time it properly. If I even can. I have to release it as the sound stops. Nope, I missed it. That's one step of it, but that didn't unlock it. So now we switch to triangle. Too early. This is a tier three lock. I've had to do this three times. One more. I'm in. I'm in, chat. We're in. What the hell? It was a pleasure doing... Sorry, I gotta read this as if I was really saying it. It was a pleasure doing buzziness with you don't hurt to have a full purse now and then i will press the next flash bomb casings on the machines over me next shift and drop them down among the jike the junk like now who cares for some metal sheets and springs. Anyway, it's, oh, it's so baffling to read that I actually started making up words. <laughs> uh, it's like so hard to read bad handwriting. I don't write things with my hands anymore because I know better. Because that's I, that looks like my handwriting. Okay, we're moving on. Nothing. It's ghost town. Which means the treasure is gonna be wherever that guy's note said. Which is to say, hard for me to find. Wait, yo, that's a free flash bomb. And another mine and arrows. Worth it. We're getting armed up before we go, that's good. Uh, Casey's on the machines over me next shift and drop them down among the junk like now. Okay, so I'm guessing that's this stuff that I just picked up. Uh, does this window open? No. We gotta get back up top. All right, this was a good little uh, expedition to Factory Square, but this was obviously a dead end street. We gotta double back. Preferably over the, preferably with the pipes. I don't wanna be down here. There's guards down here. And unless I see something to open, I don't really necessarily wanna be down here. Taking the pipe back up. 
I'm not sure I can actually climb back up onto the uh, railings from this rail. Wait, maybe. Uh, no, you absolutely cannot. But I might be able to jump to there. Hang on, let's try it. I can't. Okay. We're heading back. Uh, ha, uh, we're going all the way back to the start. Now that we got some extra gear, we got plenty of mines and flash bombs. That'll help us out quite a bit breaking into the mansion. And then, it's all their spoons. Their spoons will be mine. That was so loud, every guard in a hundred miles heard me smash into that. I'm just looking for boxes and bottles and things to steal in the bushes. Not like there would be anything, but one can dream. I keep hoping maybe one day I'll see like something amazing in here, but you never do. All right, I'm crossing back to the other side. This way, not through the vent. Because I think there's more to catch here. Let's do this carefully. And look for windows that might not be lit. Windows that aren't lit imply that you may be able to go through them. That's kind of, I see a window right there, actually. I kind of want to go get that. I think I'm allowed to stand on this. I am. We're going for that window first. We're going all the way back to the guy. I missed the, I missed the chain. I'm fine. Hey. I am... Don't... Sir, don't worry about a goddamn thing. You're... Wife is going to be fine. I'm going to save them. I'm a professional. Oh, easy. I'm in. Where am I? We're crossing into hemp way through this house right now. Thieves hideout tip. Heinrich. Henrich. I, Heinrich. So Agatha's crew has a sweet setup down by the old sewer cistern, and word is she has a large stash of just ripe for the taking. Not many ways in or out, so you gotta have some stones to get in there. And then some light fingers to lift it from right under her nose. B. The sewers, huh? Well, that's a new objective for me. We got a secret objective, a side quest. Relieve the thieves of their stash in their hideout, somewhere in the sewer system. All right, a health potion. We got a lot of those, those are good. Those will help us out. So this gives way to good old Shackle Street. We might as well swing through Shackle Street and then cut back up to Knife Street. Let me just check over here quick. Let me check which way this goes. Because this is a big fucking map chat. We gotta be kind of thorough here with where we go and how we traverse it. Uh, how does... Which direction does this go? Or I might go this way first. Because I hear music. Also, keep your eyes peeled for uh, sewer entryways. We do want to get that. We want to get that money. Wait, can I open that? No. Looked like it for a second. Okay, so that gives way to the vent that we were in before. That leads to a hall with a guy. Currently, we're in Russell Square. Seems like it's definitely best that we go through uh, Hempway and Merkway before we do the... Actually, it's Knife... It doesn't seem like we're going to go back through Knife Street unless we do it now. I think we go to Knife Street. We're going to go to Knife Street. Right now, before it's too late. We're going to Knife Street. Everyone just remain calm. I know you've probably heard the rumors about how... There's, it's dangerous in Knife Street uh, on account of the name. A lot of people get knifed in Knife Street. But we're not going to be on the ground, and it's not knife. It's Knife Street, not knife balconies of the street where you get knifed. Wide skirt. Why is there scary music playing in this room? 
Where am I? This isn't part of the map. We're off the beaten path. Barnard's journal. While down at the lion's head, I overheard talk about the old street, Bridge Street pump house. Nice! I love the pump house, dude! The pump house used to be maintained by the builders till the city took ownership of it. So there's supposed to be an abandoned chapel that's somewhere below the main structure. There's rumored to be a holy reliquary down there, namely the chalice of St. Alban just sitting there on a pedestal, ripe for the taking. The rub is, no one knows where the entrance is and there have been rumors of a ghostly apparition guarding the place. A golden chalice will fetch a pretty penny. I should see if I can find this chapel. I like money. We're gonna have to find that place. The ghost of McStabby. <laughs> it's him. Chad, it's really him. He was the number one stabber. Dude, he really was. So it seems like most of the money I can steal on this map is hidden in bonus objectives and secret quests because I've made a smooth $25 since I started playing. Well, where would the pump house be? I'm not seeing anything labeled pump house. <laughs> uh Look, all right, everyone keep an eye keep your eyes peeled for a place called the pump house cuz um I'm not seeing it yet I see lower street substation I'm not seeing pump house but I'm not sure why this would have the pump house labeled we won't miss any we're being very thorough right now let's keep moving for now a quick save cool thing to discover though okay well that was worth going this way for y'all think I can get over here oh yeah now where the hell am I where's this taking me another vent darkness nothing but shadows down here Can't stand up to see what's up there, but I think it's just a fan. Where am I? This is Merkway. Hey, hey, it's me. <laughs> Why did I stand here? Why did I open this door? <laughs> Woo! It's as simple as that, baby. It's as simple as... <laughs> It's as simple as that. It's all about timing. You're coming with me. You're, co you're coming with me. Oh, Benjamin, huh? That's a pretty name, Benjamin. That's a real pretty name. <clears throat> Benjamin, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get you inside this vent, Benjamin. I, there's, you don't get much lift in this game is the thing in order to lift someone into something it takes a lot of work it takes a lot of it takes a lot of limb stuff if you can't throw them in sorry about this in advance Benjamin but you know how it is <laughs> come here Benjamin god damn it I don't think Benjamin's getting in this vent, dude. That was so loud. I gotta just leave Benjamin here. Benjamin's gonna be in the darkness right there. I gotta get rid of- There's another guy sleeping in this room. Hey. Hey there, buddy. This little guard quarters? Little guard quarters? Right here? Napping? I can't reach him. I gotta lean in. Still can't quite seem to reach him. <laughs> Got him. Rest easy, son. 
That's four gold, baby. That's what we do it for. That's another seven gold. We do it for the small change, chat. We made $36 on this mission. And a hat. And that's about it. I did all that for chump change. But I will always check the corners of rooms for uh, little switches or more specifically, two dollar, like two dollars, like maybe wrapped behind a uh, pillow. Sometimes that happens. <coughs> you never know when you might find actual secrets. These games are like just fucking, it's like a, it's like an infestation in these games when it comes to, like secrets. Where am I? Step Street. Looping back. I've never been on that balcony. Which way am I facing right now? Where's my compass? South. Oh, because that's Hempway. Alright, so we cleared Russell Square to my knowledge. So this is actually pretty a pretty solid direction to go. I think I'm gonna jump onto this balcony. Oh! Incredible jump! Incredible jump! Uh, leading to nothing, but there's absolutely something inside that room. Where is that? That's, uh, that's gonna be on the other side of Merkway. There's no safe way to get to that from here. There's absolutely no way I can traverse. Actually, no. I don't think I could pull that off. I think that would be an instant I fall to my death kind of situation. Uh, let's, uh, let's try to get somewhere safe. Ah! I'm alive. I lived. I lived. No one dies doing this. No one dies climbing. Oh. <laughs> okay. There's an open window right there. Huh? I'm the loudest guy ever. Just to be clear, this is incredibly... <clears throat> Ow. I hurt my legs kind of doing that one. Nothing. I'm in. <laughs> There's a guard right there. Something over there. No. No, no. There's someone over there. I'm in. I'm in. I don't know where I'm breaking into, but I'm in. I'm in the shadows. Might be something worth my time in this place. That guard's gonna be patrolling left and right for hours. We gotta get rid of him. Go, go, go. The second he comes up here, I'm gonna knock him unconscious and throw him into the fire while he sleeps. And when he awakens, he'll be dead already because of the fire. I'm gonna just poof, right to the back of the head, grab him, suplex him into the fire. If he ever comes back. What else do I have for arrows? We have broadhead, which is damaging arrows. Water, we got eight water arrows. We have a fire arrow, which will kill anyone instantly when it touches them. And rope arrows, which I need to remember I have. Because that's for traversal of the map. We got noisemakers and gas arrows too. And four moss arrows. We got a little bit of everything. Which is good. This game, these devs have given us everything we need. I never use noisemakers though. Are you Hawkeye? I might as well be. But I'm more powerful. Is this guard- How big is this building this guard is in? He hasn't come back yet. I've been waiting for him to come back. I don't want to go into that hallway. It's completely lit with like an electrical light. I can't put that one out. I don't hear him. He must be taking like a piss. Yeah. God 
God fucking damn it, I hate it! I hate you! That scared me. <laughs> he waited until I looked to kick the door open. Harrachet. No, he's coming. Hello? He may never be coming. <laughs> no one. Can't get him any closer to the fire, but his face is gonna burn off. There it is, chat. The painting, just like the objective said. This is the painting we're after. Take a look at this. Look at the craftsmanship on that. That's exactly what we were looking for, chat. Let's pack it up and get the hell out of here. Is what I would say if it was, but it isn't. Matter of fact, this house is full of garbage. There's not one thing in here I want. Meh. What I'm really after is the secret switch beneath the desk that opens the secret compartment in the secret desk drawer that has all of the money in it is what I would say if this desk wasn't just a normal desk but it is in fact a normal desk with nothing in it at all and I knocked that guard out for nothing because there's no loot in this entire building. Is what I would say if there wasn't a tiny switch right along the interior of this craftsmanship on the fireplace. But there isn't because this really is just someone's house. <laughs> and we're moving on. Because the secret switch is right here, baby. Because the secret switch is right here on the interior of the wall. Oh, never mind. Because the secret switch was right around this corner. Right here. Oh. There's a guy over there. Where am I? Merkway. Goddamn Merkway. I did all that for nothing. Those people died for no that guy. That guy got his face burned off for no reason other than the fact that he was in my way, apparently, because there was no loot in that whole building. I did that just because. What the hell? Yeah, I really did do that just because I didn't need to go that way because I've already, I, I was in here. I've done this spot. That was, a, that was a bonus knockout exclusively because I wanted to. I'm kind of a psycho. Yeah, I'm kind of a psycho. I'm gonna break into this window. I know there's a guy there and I know I could have gone that way which would have been way safer, but... So we just blow up? I don't know. I'm going in. Ow! I'm in the shadows. I'm in the darkness. They can't see me here. Any one of these paintings could be the painting my character wanted. But probably not. That painting in the picture looked like it was barred up. Scary organ music playing is never a good sign whenever you enter a mansion. But we know that the guard was here. That door can't open. So the guard probably left through one of these two doors. Can I stand in this corner? I can. Where the hell is he? I gotta get rid of him. I gotta get rid of this guy. Forever. For the last time. This one's gotta go. Forever. But where the hell is he? What was that? 
that? Nothing that concerns you. Aha. Okay, we're fighting. Now I've we're fighting, I can't, I don't know how to fight. Take this. Take this. Fast. I'm, uh, Take this. Oh, I'm losing, I'm losing. Stop it. You stop it. Hey. Unlucky. Unlucky. Un unlucky. <laughs> uh, uh, unlucky. That was just unlucky. And now we know he's about to open this door. No need to do that again. But really, I am gonna take this guy down with a swipe to the back of the head with my sword. Something move? <laughs> ah! No! Oh, okay, so I'm gonna have to deal with this, this guy's actually un impossible to uh, kill because of his armor. So this time, I'm gonna deal with this guy the old-fashioned way. Hmm. Flash bombs! He's still blinded. I still have a chance. Ow, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> He's so much more powerful. I didn't want to have to bust out the big guns, old man. But now you made me. Help. He's calling for help. He's scared of me. Take this. How do you like that? Bad. Take this. <laughs> this guy's going to give me some trouble. This is a bad scene. Cross over. I got to cross over to the other side now. What was that? <laughs> Nothing. He knows. That's an intruder here. Ow! That's it. This guy's officially the strongest character I'm going to run into in this game. I'm sorry I had to do it to you. Gas arrow. <laughs> he is so powerful he stayed standing once he got knocked out for like 10 seconds. It was worth it. It was, <laughs> it was worth it. You know, that guy was more powerful than God. I'm getting rid of him. You're coming with me. Main, this is main protagonist energy. And that's why I'm gonna go ahead and just Try to throw him out the window if uh, the game will allow it. Sometimes it does. No, not on this one. It's a lot harder to move bodies in this game than it is in like Thief 2 where you can genuinely carry a guy anywhere. So I did this for nothing. Why am I just opening doors without like sneaking? There might still be people in here. Yeah, right. <laughs> Time to make some goddamn money. Look at this place, chat. Not bad. What is that? Someone's diploma? What's this? A draft of new court regulations. Uh, one. Guards escorting the prisoners shall refrain from loud conversation, spitting, and other boisterous behavior. Two. Prisoners shall be led on a rope while being escorted or interrogated. Dangerous felons shall be put in heavy chains. Note affixed chains above all benches. Three. The interior yard shall be fenced and prisoners escorted through it under careful watch. Note. We do not want a repeat of the Moretti case who wouldn't have seen the miscreant leaping over the parapet and disappearing into the crowd. Four. Who couldn't? Oh, who couldn't have seen? Guard, four, guards shall refrain from walking over the new carpets with muddy boots. Okay. What's this? Your honor, your requests are, are reasonable, but impossible to oblige. Unfortunately, as you might very well know, even men of the highest prestige must subject themselves to the law. Your nephew, the Honorable Sir Eustace Brackett, struck Lady Hamilton's manservant so thoroughly with his cane that the fellow might never recover his wits. Alas, if it were a discreet matter, uh, but it happened without provocation and in large company. You have to understand that we are unable to release him at this time, but I will make sure to take into account the mitigating circumstances during the, dis the deposition. His wits, no! <laughs> Not his wits. 
but where's the secret lever? <laughs> this is, see, this is called I've played too much Thief in Dark Mod because you all ha you're all subjected to the madness of knowing there's secrets in a level and having to check every single little crack in the in the walls for the possibility of a small switch that opens a secret door. <laughs> it's behind the plant. <laughs> Another room with no treasure. I believe it when I see it. Any books? That lo that little line right there on that book looked like it was something, and I started to like internally shriek with joy. <sighs> Who's scraping metal? Hidden switches are for hard mode. Shut the fuck up, you little idiot. You're really pissing me off today. Hidden switches are a gameplay mechanic everyone can enjoy. Can you break these in dark mode? No. In Thief 2, you can break these things, which can... Where am I? That's a good question. Where the hell am I? We're in Knife Street. Oh, God. We're in fucking Knife Street. Everyone have your wits about you. Dozens of people die daily on Knife Street. Oh, I haven't been in here. God, this is why you don't live in Knife Street, dude. No one lives in Knife Street, dude. There's a reason people don't live here. Someone rappelled down this rope, landed here, ran in, stabbed that guy, and then got away. Hello? Hello? Anyone? If it's the Knife Street Slasher, which is really something no one really prepares for. There's no... No, guards don't even try to catch the Knife Street Slasher. He just slashes... Before checking the guy's body, obviously I will do the customary uh, search the entire room for secrets. Because I know who I am. I know what I'm about. <laughs> this room's clean. <laughs> this room's clean. So what's your deal? Percival! That fucking Percival! He's napping. What is this? I don't have the time nor the inclination to entertain associates that have the temerity to question my methods. You were useful, but clearly that has come to an end. M. M. Marlo. Lord Mario. We better be careful going to that noble. He looks like he's not afraid to kill Percival, which is a pretty big red flag because everyone really liked Percival. I think we can all agree most people fucking love that guy. Everyone liked Percival a lot. That was the thing about Percival. Why did you just... <laughs> That looked like a ledge you could grab. Okay. Get me up there. Hang on, I gotta get up there. Hang on, get me up there. Huh. Have I been here before? Ah! Uh, the hell am I? I'm back at Russell Street. I never went in that window. Well, there's always right now to make up for lost time and go in windows I didn't go in before. I did go in here. How do I get in that freaking window? Can I open this window? No. 
I want to get in that window. Genuine fear. This game does, it lurches my stomach. That looks like a wizard's house. You can tell by the sparkles. Whoa! I'm in. I'm in the magical room. This guy doesn't look innocent. He looks like a necromancer. Better luck next time, old man. Now we'll find out in the lore why he was evil and why I was allowed to kill him just then. This is a gonna be a my Oh, voodoo doll. He did voodoo. He he did, he got involved in dark arts. You see that voodoo? That's a that's a voodooing. That makes it legal. What I just did to that guy. He also did the drugs. And dear man, wow, this is un. This is some handwriting. Imagine him writing like this, having like genuinely the ability to write like this with your hands. That font. Imagine being able to write in a font. Calligraphy, man. Calligraphy. Dear Master Demolithius. Demolithius? Demolithius. Demolithius. I write to you as I could not help but notice that once more Archimedes has grown dull and his tone somber. No longer lifting my spirits as readily as he once had during those long evenings in my study. Therefore, I must ask you of you to perform yet another rejuvenation. You would, of course, find generous recompense as well as a seat at my grand fireplace to savor my collection of exotic teas. Yes, yes, I know you shall not miss an opportunity to remind me that the only... Hang on. How do I turn pages? Jay, yeah, what's the next pa Oh, it's scroll wheel. The only lasting solution would be to return Archimedes to his natural habitat, but that is simply no option. The journey in which I obtained him was adventurous to an extraordinary degree, one that I do not seek to repeat even if I were still blessed with my former youth and vitality. In any case, you'll find yourself most welcome at my manor at the up at Upper Street, and I'll be happy to share my- We're stealing an exotic pet! Simple as that! Lord Harrington Sr. Well, well, well. I'm gonna steal someone's beloved pet. You just killed a vet. Yeah, but he was a vet enabling the idea of keeping exotic animals that are miserable in a habitat that isn't theirs. So he is evil. In my opinion, he's evil. He's reinforcing that same horrible concept of keeping an animal that shouldn't be somewhere in that place just for the sake of having it, which is innately, in my opinion, evil. You killed Joe Exotic. I don't know, dude. This guy... This guy, look, he might be able to financially recover from this one. I turned him into a, a bed. And I got a special rock, which was really what was worth it. I got a mysterious stone, chat. Which I will use, of course to um, summon the demons. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. I'm going to use it to summon the demons. But yet again, no money. A lot of my time so far has been sent, spent preparing to collect big paydays, but nothing has been like, uh, like a small, like, hey, here's $200 for doing a good job. And it's making me paranoid. Cause like, am I missing things? I don't think I am. Okay, we're moving on. Where the hell are we? We're in Russell Square. We we cleared Knife Street, but we might as well go back through Knife Street to Courtyard Street and um, Market Square. <laughs> If I remember how to get there from here. I believe I went this way. Whoa. Incredible. 
incredible vertical leap. Look at the look at the leap I have on this character. Look at the vertical leap. Wait, what? 25 gold, baby. That's 25 gold. That is 25 gold. That is going to get us out of poverty. That is, that is 61 gold of my 5,000 gold quota. Not good. Anyways, we're on Knife Street. Uh, I'm actually too high up, turns out. And the only way to get down safely is actually to leap. Actually, this looks like I can, yeah, that's safe. I need to uh, get onto this rope somehow. I think the safest way is to do what I've already done, slide down this. There we go. I need to get down. Ah! I'm fine. Back to Knife Street. We are on Knife Street, right? Okay, as long as there's no guards around, they won't hear me doing all this scampering. I'm going in that window and I'm gonna kill whoever's in there because that's the Knife Street way. I'm drawing my knife. <laughs> Hello? Anyone here? Knife Street, motherfucker. No one's here. What's this? Mr. Dear Mr. Stevenson, I'm writing to you in regard to the continued noise from your factory. I appreciate that times are hard and one must make ends meet by extending the working hours of the factory. Normally, I spend most of my evenings down the lion's head, so I don't have to listen to the noise. But having your machines banging away past the 11th bell toll is simply not accessible, acceptable. Regards, Mr. Astwith. Yeah, but does Mr. Astwith have money? Are you a rich man? He doesn't see this guy doesn't look like a rich man. This guy seems like a poor fuck uh, by the look of his uh, furniture. So I'm going to assume I'm not making any money off of this guy. Uh, he has nothing. This guy is this guy is omega poor by the looks of things. So we're out of here. No one to knife either. Another goddamn poor. Hang on, I'm getting rid of his chair. Yeah, we're moving on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's him. Yo, it's a full circle all the way back. Isn't that just something? Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Hello? Something about these windows is, whoa. Something about these windows is giving me weird vibes. It's almost like one of these might open or something. Nothing. Nothing. Can I climb this? I can. There's nothing up here though. I'm just like, I'm still wigged out by why this building exists because I haven't gained anything from it. There's nothing, there was no loot in here to collect. Aside from like some flash bombs. My leg. Well, stuff to keep in mind for later. There's been a lot of looping back to this place and it keeps making feel like there's some kind of secret lever. But um, in the interest of not looking like a psycho for any longer than possible, I will simply come back to it later at like the end of the stream and spend 40 minutes looking for something that doesn't exist. You know? Whoa, 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 whoa. Dude, fucking shit map, dude, look at this. I gotta show you this dude, cause it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. Look, look, this map sucks. It's the abyss. Immersion shattered. I'm inside of a block of wood, dude. They can't game like this, no one can. <laughs> this is a, this is, a, I can't game. 
Are we going down Knife Street? Yeah, this is this is the part. This is the street part of Knife Street. We're going the right way. Whoa, 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 Hey, hey, whoa. Let's calm it down. I gotta get some. I gotta get down. You don't think I can make it to that electrical line safely? <gasps> Ow! Fuck my legs, dude. Reload, reload, reload. I can, I can do that better. I can do that better. I need a better way down than this. I can definitely safely jump to this side. <gasps> I took damage climbing that. It's fine. We have four medical, like, potions. We have four health potions. I'm actually going to go down to the ground floor here, chat. Okay. Or two reasons. One, I'm actually stealing this guy's chair. I like this chair. I'm stealing it. Now, hide it in this corner for later. And two, I saw this thing, and I kind of wanted it. This funny gargoyle, this ghoul, you know? I liked the ghoul, and I was wondering maybe I could steal it. I can't. So where the hell am I? We're at Knife Street going to court, Courtyard Street. On the ground floor, which means guards are absolutely going to be patrolling this place. Dead end. Did I... Ah! 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 Ow! Fuck you! Listen, my guy. This only goes one of one way. You missed. All right, apparently this goes with one of... Ah. Okay, all right, asshole. All right, asshole. Well, since I'm going to take fall damage either way, I'll just go down this way. I want to get through this part before the guard turns the corner. This is a packed street, and there's absolutely stuff up there. Fuck. Wait, but I was up there, wasn't I? I was up there. Yeah, I've been up there. I see a note here. I see what might be a sewer path. What if I'm in here acting like a prisoner? Will I get in trouble with the police? I'm just gonna knock this guy unconscious like a psycho. I'm just gonna dispose of this man. This man's getting disposed of. Ha! Hop up! Shut up! Hop up! Hop. Well. Stop! No, but really, I'm not. I, take your bow out. Stop! No, 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 no! I don't. I want to play a bow game. Oh! Oh! Curse you. <sighs> What's your name, man? Corpse? That's a sad name. Oh shit, there's another one. I gotta put this down. I can't put my torch. I can't drop this guy! This guy's stuck in my inventory. I can't drop him. I got it. He was in an undroppable realm. I just didn't want my lantern on in case that guy could see me from down the street. We'll just leave him there. No one comes over here. What's this? Court hours and regulations. Regular days from the 8th to 13th toll and 14th to 19th toll on days of rest from the 8th to 13th toll on the Lord Builder's holy holidays. Holy days, the only judgment is his. Visitors in the deliveries of the prison shall be instructed by the weapons and some of the devices all jailers should be obeyed. Scuffles, games, chance uh, shall be. Did you get all that? What's down here? 
This doesn't open. It's not a real door. The hunt for the sewer continues. We know there's a guard up this way. Be careful about this. What the hell's that guy? Was that just some guy running around? Who's that guy? There was just- I saw a guy with like a hat. Where the fuck did he just go? Where'd that guy just go? I- there was like a- there was a guy. What's that? <laughs> uh, noise? Get this guy out of here. I do not know who that man was. But I need to dispose of his body somewhere where guards will not see it. Is that a sleeping guard? This game writes itself. All I gotta do is get close enough to clock him one. And it's as good as over already. Oh no, this is just a sleeping vagrant. He doesn't even have shoes. No. Yes, he knows. He knows I'm after his treasure, his precious treasure he hides on the other side of his bench. No. After him. This guy has no idea. He has no idea. Uh, he's just staring at the light like a fucking moth. Everyone shut the fuck up. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! He's officially too powerful. His helmet was too good. So! 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 What can I say? Next time, don't wear a helmet. Get up there. Get up there. Chad, I gotta dispose of the guards on these streets. There's just too many of them. They're getting in the way of my work, my dark work. How am I supposed to thieve like this with all these people doing their thing? Like, there, there's just too many people. Where is this taking me? This is an unlabeled street. This is simply nowhere. This goes to Cinder's End, which is not somewhere I need to go. Baldwin's herbal blood pills. I don't need those. Wanted for murder, for the murder of various individuals. There's a guy with a goatee that's wanted for um, 10,000 gold coins. And then I'm only worth like 5,000 by the looks of my wanted poster. I should turn that guy in and then run before they realize it was me who did it. I should find that guy. I right, write that guy's face down. We'll loop around and pick him up later. Can I climb this? Oh yeah, I can climb any pipe. Piping is my, this is my happy zone. Man. Anything? Can't get up there. Back on the, back on the rooftops, the way I like it, Jet. Where the hell are we? We're in Upper Bridge Street. Not to be confused with Lower Bridge Street way down there. Uh, there's no really safe way from where I am to get down to the next, unless I do this. Easy. <clears throat> ow, fucking ow. 
This is nothing to me. Upper Bridge Street. Once we're done with Upper Bridge Street, I need to re I need to back up again to Solitude Gardens and Upper Walk because we never cleared those spots. So um, was that a was that door opening? It's probably about time I drink a potion, which will heal me a bit. Very slowly, but it will. There's a window open. You know what that means? Windows mean people that live there. And people that live there means sometimes they have things. Ah, uh, should I be touching this? <laughs> should I be? Ooh! I'm climbing on this electrical line to get over there to this other open window. I, I, I'm fine. Surprise, motherfucker! Is that something over there? Is somebody there? No. I'm not afraid of you. You can't reach me, fool. Ha. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Oh. oh my god. <laughs> that person is dead. That person's dead. That was, that was <laughs> Mother of three. They were carrying a broadsword, chat. And this room's full of drug-making tools. And their name's the assassin. <laughs> it says right here on their name tag that they're the assassin. All right, so I won't hear. I won't let anyone shame me for that kill. The name is literally the assassin. Get assassin. I'll be taking that arrow back. Thanks. And your supplies. What's this? Strange micro closet here. Nothing in it. Look at that money. That, well, that's what we do it for. 50 gold. Thanks for the money, idiot. Next time, don't get assassinated, assassin. Wow. The real knife street slasher. Yeah, it's probably me. I'm in. What do we got here? Comb. Don't need it. Book. Assassin's plans. Chat, this is when we find out how shitty they are. Finally got paid for the Serafina jab. I'm gonna name, I'm gonna voice them like this so everyone knows they're evil. Gonna have to make arrangements to Greymouth Harbor to fulfill my end, but that's gonna have to wait for now. As my services have been requested by none other than the Alderman himself, the job is simple enough. Off some poor painter and pin the blame on a local two-bit thief. Won't be hard to find that painter. Marlo gave me all the information I need. You're telling me this person's job was literally to assassinate someone and then pin me for it. But then I accidentally broke into their house because I thought their house would have things in it. And I shot them twice in the face with a bow and arrow. What are the odds? What are the odds? <laughs> what are the odds? That's irony. Once the job is done, I'm gonna wait for Lord Marlowe at the Archway Club of all places. Will be easy to pick him out. Not exactly discreet, but at least I can get a good pint of ale that isn't watered down. Unlike that swill they serve at the Lion's Head. To collect my due, I'll need to make my way to the Bridge Street Pump House and get to the club through there. This will be the easiest coin I've made in a long while. I'll finish this up quick and then make my way to the port to start the real work. Everything goes back to the Pump House. Everything goes, everything goes to the pump house. I can't wait. So anyways, we got another objective. Uh, never hurts to steal a golden chalice. We have that one. Uh, Marlo is a bastard, uh, of the worst kind. Remove him from the equation permanently. Okay, so the objective has changed, chat. It's no longer, um, it's no longer just stop, fuck with Marlo. It is, Marlo's a rat bastard who tried to kill me. Uh, we've discouraged Marlo's assassin from carrying out her job the most violent way that you can discourage someone, which is uh, uh, taking them out of the equation forever by shooting them in the face with two broadhead arrows, the second one which makes them scream <gasps> as they die. Uh, now that they're gone, I, I'm going to permanently remove Marlo from the equation. 
by uh, murdering him as well. Where, are there other ways I could have done this? Probably. Perhaps. That's the magic chat is that this is a free mod. You can buy, you can get the dark mod and play this level. And perhaps there is another way to do it. However, I will be rolling with this one because this person's death was far too brutal. I shot them through the eye. They're gone. Didn't they had friends downstairs? <laughs> Hello? Does anyone live in this house? No, they lived alone. I was looking around for money. Hey chat, fun fact, we've only really explored about probably a third of the map. And on top of that, haven't finished any of the actual objectives. Pretty big map. Why is this letting me, is it let me climb this stuff? Where does, where do I want to go? Oh, no! Was that a seal of like arcane energy? Right as I fell, I saw a seal of arcane energy. Did you see that? I saw that. Hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that? Nothing. I saw a seal of arcane power. I gotta get down there. Wait, I am going way too far. Hang on. Double back. That window's open. No, it's not really. I want to double back because uh, there was actually a place to the north I still wanted to check before we headed farther south. Remember, I wanted to go back to Upper Walk. I want to do the stuff that's up on the upper version of this street as well before I move on. This is safe. I'm going to break into that building right there because they look like they have an expensive bathroom. You know what that means? You can't touch that. We learn. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and reload because that was honestly a lot of beans. Is this a power line? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Ow. Can I do one thing that doesn't hurt my ankle? <laughs> can I do like a, I know you can use like moss arrows to break your, well, not really break your fall. I, mean, I don't know, maybe it doesn't dark mod. It doesn't in thief one or two. I'm in. Whatever this toilet had, it's mine now, down to its missing texture faucet. Everything I could ever need is in here. Nothing in the toilet. I'm in. No one's in here. This is an unoccupied area. And where's this lead? I'm just gonna check this before I loot anything. anything. Uh, where's this take me to? Back to Market Square. Good, that's the direction I wanna go. I just wanna check that, that street before I give up on this area and move on. Clock Tower. Have you noticed how all four sides of the Clock Tower on Bell Street still tick the wrong talk? Blasted inventor junk almost made me miss my appointment. Today, had I not thought to glance at my own timepiece, the clock tower, if it could even be called as such right now, has been like this for a month and still no word on when it's going to be fixed. I'll make a wager with you. If I went down to the pub right now, I'd meet the chief intendant in person. Where is the clock tower? Oh, there it is. I see it on the map. I bet there's something in that clock tower that's making it not work so good. And I'm going to help them fix it by taking whatever's inside of it, obviously stealing but first I'm going to look for secret switches inside this random house because anyone that owns a clock on their hand probably has money there's nothing in this entire building there's no secrets anywhere I mean I'm going through secret withdrawal wait I don't want to go back this way I actually do want to leave this way we are going to Upper Walk and then Solitude Gardens, because those are spots that I haven't actually looted. God, look at the vertical. I never got, I haven't gotten in there either. Hyah! 
I'm in. Is that a guard? That's a pile of armor. <laughs> Look at you. You can't hurt anyone like that. Foolish. The guard's probably right behind this door. Hello? Hello? Nothing. It's ghost town. I think I've dealt with most of the guards. Captain Wilkins. Almost good, but we should be even more evasive. That old goat will have none of this if we simply rebuke him. He thinks it's right to make cases like this disappear, and he has the means to do it if we're careless. No, we must make sure he doesn't suspect a thing until it's too late. I'll have this Sir Eustace shipped out as a marine officer. Make sure he'll serve under the right captain who will make the taffer sorry he was ever born. Nobles and their privileges. They'll soon learn that I don't pay... I don't play softly with their kind. Until then, butter the old man up. Flattery is the best weapon against the unsuspecting. Judge Blunt. This is regarding that guy who, uh... Removed someone's wits by hitting him enough time with a, a cane, I believe. I'm gonna, that place, this place is gonna burn to the ground if I keep knocking everything over like that. You look nice today, tomato. Thanks, but that's a load of bullshit because you can't see me. Why would you lie? Unless my webcam's on, which it isn't. None of these weapons are valuable. All these things are garbage. We just know. Sort of creepy. Kind of weird. Kind of, kind of weird. Oh, there's a light switch. Lovely. All right, we continue onwards. It looks like we can actually climb up this. Nope. Any guards? Hang on. Any guards? I've been here. It's all coming together. I've been here. This is the exact spot where I knocked that man unconscious with a gas grenade. And I dumped his body right here. Alright, this is going to put us right near where I need to be. Merkway, right now. We want to go... Hang on, which way is south and north? Because I want to check this street before I move on. This is south. I'm facing south. We want to go this way. Ah! Ow! That was not what I wanted to happen. This sucks. I fell. I just wanted to go to the fucking street. I wanted to go south. I can't even get to the street I want like this. Reload. The morning crime report is going to be wild. Yeah. Yeah, let me make sure I read this again just in case it's like something I need for progress. Yeah. There's gonna be a lot of crimes that happen all sort of back to back. Um, they're gonna have to report. Well, not, is it a crime to knock someone unconscious, not hurt them, and not steal any of their property? Because my guy is really sort of uh, laser focused on stealing very specific things right now. Yes. I mean, I'm talking about, I'm not talking about in real life chat. Everyone knows none of my shit's gonna fly in real life. I'm talking about in this fictional make-believe world. Come on. Ooh. All right, this should get me where I wanted to be. Yeah? How am I back at Market Square? Okay, apparently Merkway is much farther down the street. Just make one little noise, and you're dead. Aha! Now I've got you. You won't be safe there for long. Damn it. We've got invisible walls blocking both of us from finishing each other off. Him here. No, I've got you cornered here, idiot. You won't be safe there for <laughs> On guard, motherfucker! Hey, ah! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> ah! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Alright, I can't trade, that's the problem. I I can't trade strikes. Alright, that guy heard me because of a bunch of bullshit. Okay, it's because everything's made out of stones. That's he's he's looking that guy's looking at a different thief. <laughs> I mean I'm really gonna have to get rid of this guy, huh? You won't be safe there for long. 
So is this an invisible wall? This guy's full on scampered off. I gotta dispose of this man. He's he's very observant of me. This guy's for he full on ran inside to like hide from me. Hello? I'm just gonna quick save and get in there and kill him, I guess. He forgot about me. Oh, you're pretty clever. He forgot about me. You again. He fucking forgot about me. He forgot about me. You won't be safe there for long. Uh, nice rock, asshole. You got another one? Oh? That's it? Oh. Ow. I, this is not an equal trade between us. Uh. Alright. Wow, this place looks valuable. All right. Wait a minute, this opens. Everyone shut up, there's more people. <laughs> no looting until we're done with whatever's going on here. There's spooky music playing too, listen. Okay, it stopped. Could be someone right behind that door. Or this door. Okay, there is spooky music playing. Is that a clock? That's a clock making that sound. This no guys, this hat this place has guards. It's not haunted. They can't be both. It's either guards or ghosts. They can't they don't intermingle. I believe I dispatched the one guard, and we are in Sawtooth Gardens. We're going the way I wanted to go. Let's make sure I didn't miss anything. Let's loot everything in this whole building. We've earned it. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this open? We're clear. This place has been looted. Let's turn on the lights and help ourselves to everything they own. Lights on. Oh, this stuff looks mighty valuable, chat. Field armor of Sir Goodwin and Elslan. Commanders of the Holy Army of the Battle of Too Heavy to Carry. Uh, crest. Ah, uh, not happening. Uh, another crest. No. Hang on, maybe this will tell me which one's the most valuable. Dear Mr. Bailey, I send you my gratitude for your careful review of my request and my personal circumstances. However, I must express with my with cr my great perplexion as to the decision at which you have arrived. Though I do not enjoy the merits of an opulent, well-guarded estate, my most my more modest accommodation offers considerable advantages. For one, my gallery is much less visible, perhaps even invisible, to the public eye, and by consequence, to would-be pilferers. For the other, I'm comfortable I'm comfortably able to pay a well-equipped mercenary to guard my collection at all times of the day. Given the limited floor space, I am in fact able to provide protection for my exhibits that is comparable to, if not better than, the provided that provided by a sprawling museum. In the light of these aspects, in which I feel weren't fully considered in your review, I respectfully ask you to reconsider your decision on the re relocation of the bust of Archiver. It would be truly, it would truly be an enrichment for my gallery, and I would undertake every measure to ensure its safekeeping. With most sincere regards, Mr. Harwood, Number Three, Merkway, Merkway Quarter. LOL, he said. LMAO. <laughs> Whoa! The hell? Hello? Take this. Oh. Ow! Fuck you! All right. You pissed me off. They survived the firebomb. I'm quick loading my game now. <laughs> They, they, I'm not going back out there. There's guards and they want me dead. There's nothing in here. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Emerald Heart, discovered in Manoa 942, has changed hands countless times, both peacefully and violently. It's locked. I gotta get in there. Son of a bitch. You think I can lock pick this? That 
Damn it, this one's hard. Easy now. One in. Well, 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 what do we have here? dollars wow this guy's museum sucks like that's high tier trash hang on I'm gonna take this guy's arrow out of his face because i kind of want to keep the arrow there we go two hundred dollars for the emerald of death well documented as an incredibly valuable artifact of a lost age 200 bucks the best i can do is 200 Maybe there's something in the guy's gallery or his like lobby. Hundred the, uh, the fucking statue on his fireplace is worth more money. Well, as almost as much. Golden goblet, fifteen. Vase, worthless. And these look good. Gosh, I don't know if I trust this. Let me check inside. It's fine. What's this? Yeah, this place seems clean. Is what I would say if I believed it. Stuff always seems clean, chat, but the places that seem clean, where you get the most treasure, are typically the ones where they also hide more treasure, because that stuff doesn't even count as treasure, then the rich people are the ones that have their secret hiding places. It's the riches of the world. <laughs> Let the place burn. Let it all burn. Have you found any spoons yet? No, but we haven't gotten to the spoon store yet. So there's still plenty of time to find more spoons. So what's over here? It's a balcony. This leads the way I wanted to clear. But first I wanna make sure I don't miss anything else on Upper Walk, which I believe is here. Let's check Upper Walk the rest of the way. Is this a safe cliff to jump onto? No, we're back onto Upper Bridge. I think this is, I'm gonna guess this is like the big part of Upper Walk. But I don't wanna, I don't wanna miss something stupid and look like a freaking idiot. But there's like guards out here. But I'm not even in Upper Walk. But those guys are gonna see almost anything I do over here. Unless I, that guy totally saw me when I stood up. No, he didn't. I need to shoot this guy's face off. Actually, what I need to do is get to the ground floor. That looks like the way to upper walk. Uh, or is this the way to upper walk? No, that's Market Square. Yeah, I see the way to upper walk. We go down and over here. Ow! We have more health kits. We're gonna be okay. But um, this is this is the way to upper walk. This is this is the way we want to go. Easy now. Well, now whether there's going to be anything up here remains to be seen. It's just some guy. There's some guy. There's some guy. There's some guy. I don't know. Do I kill him? I think he's just some guy. I'm sorry. Gotta get out of here. All right. The arrow bounced off his face and they ran. I think that guy was a good guy. It's just some guy. Oh, he's making distance, too. You think guards will come here? I'm gonna get in big trouble with the police when he comes. Help! There's an intruder! Cease. How did that... How did he not... Uh? 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 I'm cool, I'm cool. But really, 
I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm not. Not. not I'm not though. <laughs> this guy's not dead, and that's all that matters. I didn't hurt that guy. Now what the hell am I doing here? <laughs> I break into places without knowing why. George, it seems the transistor hiccup we had earlier this week worked itself out. Good thing, too. If the boss saw the sparks flying out of the wiring, he would have thrown a fit. Perhaps my prayer to the Lord Builder helped solve the issue because I sure didn't do anything to fix it. These electrical systems are so strange. Even those of us who know them don't really know them as well as people think we do. Right. I'm just gonna crawl into the electrical systems. You know me. You, know, you all know me. I'm going in. What created the electrical problem? Back to Solitude Gardens. Don't wanna to go to Solitude Gardens yet, but we will go this way to Solitude Gardens. But first I wanna make sure we get everything else. I think I murdered... I think I just came up here for this hole. Wait a minute. Well, 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 George. What were you trying to hide from me, George? Fifty dollars. I'll take it. I'll take fifty dollars any day of the goddamn week, George. I'll take it any day of the week. Andreas lives here. Maybe he's already back from the tavern. Who's Andreas? Wait, who's Andreas? I have no idea who I who Andreas is, but he lives here. This might be the painter whose painting I'm trying to steal. Dear Master Devants, Thank you for submitting your work on and reprisal for the ex exhibition at Lady Ber Benoweth's Artist's Gala. An esteemed jury has reviewed your submission as determined that it is, unfortunately, an ill fit for this most prestigious event. We thank you for your participation and wish you the very best of luck in all your future endeavors. We have shredded the piece. Sincerely, Edwin Parman. No. But you got any money? You got money though? No money or treasure. I like checking the bottom floor for stuff. Because you never know when you might find, uh, I don't know, glowy mushrooms. Get back up top. All right, Chad, we're going to Solitude Gardens. We know the drill. Catch you later, George. We're gonna go to Solitude Gardens, clear out that, and then Street, Stone Street. Skooma, don't just yell Skooma, all right? You're gonna get me, you're gonna get me looking around. You know how much I crave Skooma. Everyone knows I'm a documented Skoomer, all right? I don't think I can make this jump. I'm in, but why? Brother Reynolds, one of our brethren who will be punished for his laziness lent against this fence and weakened the joints. We cannot have the builder's house in such disrepair. Please re-cement and re-seat the fence with all due haste, Brother Milan. Oh. Well, I'm in. If this door had a, a handle to open, it doesn't. Where am I? We're in Solitude Gardens. That looks like a dead end over there. I kind of want to go that way first. But I'm going this way first. <laughs> Wait, no, I've been here. Well, 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 here I am again for the third time. I'm going this way now.
There might be something up there too, at like the top floor of this. I'm not sure. I will check. It totally is, baby. This is exactly what I've been looking for. There's also definitely a goblet I can collect down there, but I want to figure out what's over here. <laughs> Nothing. I don't buy that for a goddamn second. There's something hidden in the corners. It's never nothing. Unless it's nothing. It might just really be nothing. Is there a time limit? Because that was like the bell tolling. I'm wondering if there's like a... If I'm gonna die... Let's check the bottom floor of the Solitude Gardens. Oh, the sewers. See that hole? Shit. See that hole? Where, where, where? We know exactly what's down in the goddamn sewers. We can use this. Well, well, well. Chat, we can use that, chat. We know there's thieves down there that have hidden some of their valuables in the sewer. Perhaps we go collect it from them. And they're all criminals, so I'm allowed to murder them. Fuck, it's locked. Hey, 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 little guy. Hey, bring me the key. Go, come on, come on, get around that corner. Give me the key. I don't think he knows what I'm talking about. I'll just unlock it. Too slow. He's going. Yeah, I, th I, think the I think that rap's going. He came back. Come on. I'm in! No thanks to you. Alright, let's do this. The sewers. We have no idea what could be awaiting us down here, Jack. Could be normal people, could be zombies, could be people and zombies. Uh, no way can I go in this hole. Nah, I can't fit down that. That goes deeper in. Let's check this side first. Locked. Omega locked. We can't even unlock that with picks. That is, that is an Omega locked door. We need a key to open that. Okay. We're moving on then. Oh no, this is dead end. Never mind. <laughs> I solved the mystery. Close that again, in case there's a guy. Why am I here? Hammer. I am starting to believe that I shouldn't be in this little hole. Help me. Okay. I'm guessing this leads back out to the street. Yes. But where does this one lead? Hang on. This door is just not open. It won't even let me use the lock picks on it. It's just Omega closed. Uh, fuck. Well, I can't do this. I can't go any deeper into the sewers from this tunnel because of the fact that it's super locked. Unless I can swim. Wow, that's some loud water. <laughs> Double checking. Nope. Yeah, it's super locked. And I don't have any keys, do I? No. No key. 
fuck. We're not going that way. All right, chat, we're moving on. Where have we explored? We went all the way to Bridge Street. This is dumping us out at Archway? Lower Street. We're low down. We're, real, we're really in a place we haven't been yet right now. Um, let's be careful. God knows what we could run into out here. You never know what kind of weirdos are wandering around the streets this late at night. Where am I? Okay, we're back at Bridge Street. I only feel comfortable if I can see the corpses of the people I've knocked unconscious. Ooh. Hello? They never expect it when you scream too. That's what actually elevates their, it makes their blood rush faster when you go, ha! and then you hit them. And that actually makes it uh, more likely that they will be knocked unconscious instantly when hit. Cause all their blood rushes to their brain really quickly. And then you jostle them. This was of course body. That's his name. A message to a guard, Hollins. I've asked Captain Roscoe as he has been here the longest. He says if you lost it, you lost it. The only key to the cistern gate down there is with the sir, and he will not be bothered about some cheap necklace. Serves you right for listening to whatever weird noises were coming from down there instead of feeding the furnace. Okay. Roscoe says these tunnels are old escape routes from the time noble families laid siege to each other's fortresses. The sewers only came later. There's probably all kinds of lost crap down there, and you should be happy you only lost a sweetheart's gift, not a limb or two. There was a guy, old Porter, went over some railing at Master Coleman's cellar, and by the time they dragged him out, the rats got to him. They say you could hear his screams all through the Lowcrest Street. I only saw the bloody sheets on the body, since they covered it by the time we got there, but everyone was pale as if they'd seen death itself. So I was saying, so as I was saying, don't even think about going down to investigate. Leave that thing well alone and keep the hatch closed. I'm going to investigate. Hello? Hello? Oh, fuck. <laughs> that was him. That was the rat that did it. We're hungry for more blood. <laughs> Right now! Where'd you go? I mean, if I don't have the key, I can't get in there either. Whoa! <gasps> uh. Hello? It seems I was too quick to assume that no one else would be down here. But this guy's not gonna be quick enough to figure out what happens next! There you are! <laughs> okay, he figured it out. Back! Back! All right, where the hell am I? Attention, it's bad enough that we have some instances of Taffers using it to gain access to the sewers, but when Gabor had one too many and fell down and broke his arm, enough is enough. That, and it's not a toilet, and your guards aren't common street folk. If you need to take a leak, go down to the sewer, you lazy gits. He's talking about this fucking thing, this big hole, as I like to call it. It's a giant hole, chat sends you down to the sewers. Well, if they lost the key, they lost the key. There's not much we can do, aside from continue south, well, uh, down, until we... <sighs> I don't know what you want from me, man! How about you all just calm down?
Hello? Maybe I can unlock it with lockpicks. Oh no. I was hoping this would be secret. Hello? Sewers? Sewer rats? Haha, -ha. remember when this was just a game about wandering the rooftops? Uh, well, let's look for money. That's the point of all this is money. So, um, try not to get lost. We don't have a map for the sewer. Wow, this goes deep. Maybe we go up first and see what's up more. These sewers wind every which way, chat. They wind every which way. Dozens of people get lost in the sewers beneath this district. Some people are so goddamn scared they board it up and chain it just to make sure that no one can get down or out. Let's cut our lights. I don't want lights on. Just in case. Not that I'm scared. If I was scared, I'd draw my sword. That was just to show you that I can. I'm not really gonna draw my sword for this. Look, look, we can leave whenever we want. Look, this takes us right out. See? We're done. We're done with the sewers. I don't know where I am, but we're done. We're not going back. Perhaps ever. That was a fun little side trip to the sewers. We're not doing the sewers. Scared. He's scared of the sewers. I'm not scared of the sewers. I'm just scared for all of you. Rats are a bad influence on you. Wouldn't you rather be here at this unmarked random hole in the map? <laughs> Mr. Bones! Uh, hello? Wait, wait, I'm a thief. Don't out myself. Uh, I'm just gonna stay quiet and steal all this stuff. What's that? Give me that. I see you, dark thieving man. I see you scheme and I see you plan. Beware, you darkling thief's hand. For yonder lurks a fate. Beyond Fool's King. I'm going to the bathroom. Stay here with Mr. Bone. Did it do anything? <laughs> Did the Mr. Bone move? Look, I'm not worried about Ken, okay? I'm not. Let's just take whatever this guy might have, despite the fact that his terminology in that note leads me to believe- Wait a minute. A key. That might lead to something in the sewers, for all we know. And another health potion. I'm going to drink that right now. Ken is not a person LMAO. Oh yeah? That's pretty mean. Hey, Ken's in the chat. This guy says you're not a person. Get him. Get him. So why did I do this? That's like a good question. Hang on. 
You can't even. Oh, this probably this is probably where the great key goes. Honestly, it's probably to this. Yes, which leads us back out to the street. Wait a minute. No, this is not the same place. But I remember seeing this sign when I fell down a hole. Remember? And I was like, wow, that looks like a magical symbol. And then I never went back because I was scared of that fall. It's kind of the same spot. Well, uh, back into the fucking sewers. We're actually not done with the sewers. That was a lie. If you all dropped your guard, that was the point. We're going uh, back in to the goddamn sewer, baby. Hey, I'm back. Sewers. to the I think I just heard a noise hello I'm just gonna keep my light on for now I'm not afraid of anything but I'm gonna leave it on hello the rat hey hey he's signaling for me to go through that door okay but this door doesn't fucking open. I can't go in. I don't have the key. And this door is Omega sealed, so we can't go that way. I can't go that way. It's locked. We're going. Looks like we're going back down, deeper into the pits. You know, chat. Last time I went. Hang on. I actually want to do it like this. Because that down is definitely what looks to be what I would assume the most dangerous psycho play. So I'm going to check every other side corridor here before I do that. So that's the cistern that people were flopping into and breaking their arms on. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, it's different sewers, my guy. It's a vent, jackass. You literally can't. It's there's invisible walls on this. Fuck you. Hey, I got it here. No, you don't. We're in different. We're in different entire sewer systems. We're, li we're literally as far away from each other as it can be. But that guy did just totally out his entire thief operation, right there. Now I know where they are. I just have to figure out a way to get there. Perhaps down. Perhaps down into the bowels, deeper into the sewers. Y'all think this leads directly to where he was? I think I see him through the waterfall staring at me. Like, I think he's baffled that I would try it when he knows he can shoot at me from here. I think he's like, he couldn't believe it that I would just break in. He gave up. He's lost interest in me. Well, I'm going to assume there's stuff in the water, but I don't really want to check that until I've killed the guards and, well, the thieves, whoever lives and works here. Yeah, there's definitely a guy that's going to shoot at me as I climb up by the sounds of things. I don't think he has an angle on me from here. Why don't you just come out? Huh? Why don't you just shut up? You can't see me. Ow! Oh, you are gonna. If I get up there, my guy. Huh? This did not go according to the plan. <sighs> Joke's on you. There was a 35 gold plate down here, fucker. 
Fuck, man, it's all mine. I'm coming back up. So, you got an intruder here. Trap that Don't move. Dude, stop. Dude, stop. Dude, stop. Dude, stop. Dude, stop. Dude, stop. Stop, 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 stop. <laughs> like a rabid animal. I'm going to do this for like, like 20 minutes until I finally get him. You don't move. Maybe there's a place... Nah, this is all metal. I can't use a rope arrow here. They're trying to signal for a different way for me to go, but... You fuck off! It's over! <laughs> hmm... Maybe I just quick load and sort of give this another go from the start. What an awkward boss fight. I'm not sure I'd call this one a boss fight. I'm not sure this one counts as a boss fight. Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'd give it boss fight. There. It's more of just a guy with a bow. Matter of fact, I bet he'd die in one headshot if I shot him first. Problem is, I'm not confident in my arrow skills in this game. Like, listen to him though, he's not very good either. All right, asshole. End of the- there's two of them. Yeah, you- your aim sucks, too. He's gonna miss. That's a hit. All you gotta do is just whittle them down, dude. They have no idea what to do right now. Bop. I don't think I'm making contact. I think, uh, I think- gang, I think this might be kind of a wash. They're screaming like maniacs, like angry gorillas. They're just <laughs> like trying to like yell at me. I have another way I could leave from. Wait, this is good. Hold up, this works. Maybe I just leave. No, there's nothing in here. There's a breath potion if I wanted to breathe underwater for an extended period of time. But I didn't need it for that area. It wasn't that much over there. I have a fire arrow. Maybe I just sort of give this guy enough time to lose interest in me. No. No, I'm not about that. I'm not about that. I'm about the fast, psycho, crazy play. I didn't even get close to that rope. All right, we're going to have to fucking leave and come back. Ghoulsy, thanks for the five gifted subs. Eventually, they might run out of arrows. I hate these guys. Fuck you! That guy's dead. This guy's next. One shot to the leg. One shot to the chest. He's pretty much done. He has no idea how fucked he is. It's over. I'm getting up there. That fire arrow was a pretty big waste, considering that would kill instantly a, like, undead zombie. But what are the odds are- Chat, I can tell you right now, from extended play, this ain't a horror level, all right? I'm getting a vibe that is not horror. I don't think we're gonna be running into any zombies or skeletons or ghouls. Come on, asshole. Yep. Come on, asshole. Come on, a little bit more. Arms really have a lot of power in this game. Dealt with. This is more of a, a thriller level. Yeah, it's like a thriller level. So we're in the where well, this is absolutely the thief's hideout. Those guys only knew I was here because they saw me from another sewer vent. But we are in the thief's zone. God damn it. Mm. 
one step in. You gonna eat a burger in here, streamer? Streamer, you gotta get a burger while you're here, dude. Come on, do the thing, streamer. Come on, dude, you gotta. Everyone's counting on you, dude. I can't even reach him. He's like immune. Are we cool? You done? I can't. Why are you decoloning? Why? That guy was a literal snitch. He was snitching. He was literally snitching. Vent key. Wait, vent key. Oswin. After going through the books, I've discovered more than a few discrepancies regarding our material acquisitions in your department. Something's fishy here, and I intend to root out what's causing the stench. I know you and Lewis are up to something, and so help me, I will rain down the builder's fury on everything that that is you and yours. If you so much if so much as a single screw is missing during the next audit, you've been warned, Oliver. Head of Merkway Waterworks. We've got the key to the vents. Not sure where that goes. God damn it, this is hard. Really? I missed that. All right. Man. Where's this dump me? Lower Street. God, we haven't even made it to Marlowe Manor. We're just like lurking around the side corridors. We haven't even made it to the objective house where the fucking thing we're trying to steal is. Flash bomb. That's always good. Got three of those now. Back to the titles. So we've got a key to vents. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm in. This is exactly what I was looking for. Yes. Will this lead to anything I want? This place looks like they have money. Hang on, hang on. We'll be back at the sewers in a minute. What's up, idiot? Well met. <laughs> so it just is that yells a well met when I say that. <laughs> I, I get this person out of here. <laughs> I don't think I can drop this person. No, that'll work. Sorry, lady. Wrong place, wrong time. This is a tavern. I knocked out the owner of the tavern, I believe. This is just a tavern. <laughs> it's just, I think I'm in. I think I'm in the Lion's Head Tavern. Barmaid. I yeah. I, kill, I just like killed the bar the barmaid. I think. So. Something is off tonight. The air don't feel right. Like something big is about to happen, you know? Like I'm about to get a concussion that I'll never recover from. Like my wits are about to be smacked right out of me. Forever. Just so long as it don't happen here, I got enough on my plate dealing with these scoundrels. And it don't help none that Tommy Twopence keeps trying to sneak past our front man. I keep telling him he ain't welcome here no more, but he keeps trying anyways. Boss don't like him counting the cards. Says it's cheating. Says the next time he tries coming in here, he's gonna throw him in the cistern. That don't bother me none. Screw the limp prick. Last time he came here, he smacked me behind. So hard it was red for a week. Hope the sewer rats eat him alive. Speaking of, that noble schmuck Marlowe said me fish chowder tasted like rat piss. Tell you what, maybe I'll get Percy to fetch me a rat. Then we'll see if our humble lord can tell the difference. 
Sorry, lady. You seemed pretty... You seemed like you were just keeping it real out there. You see, she seemed like she was just keeping it real. I was trying to see if any of these were high-quality liquor. They aren't. Gambling den key. That sounds like money. <laughs> Dude, it's a bar. What is your problem? I, I, you're in a fucking bar and you hear a noise and this guy fucking goes, <laughs> A noise? <laughs> in my gambling hall? Huh? Was that? <clears throat> God. Uh, Woo! Shut the hell up! Everyone stop! Everyone just calm the hell down! <laughs> Alright? I bit off more than I could chew with this one! Where's your gambling den? Where's the gambling room? Help! Defend me! Shut up! Who the hell was- is that Marlo? Wait, I'm supposed to kill that guy. You get back here. Why are you running? Why are you? Woo. One of those was the guy I'm supposed to kill. Anyways. I gotta bring you back to the bar. <laughs> Like a ghost. Look, there's nothing, chat, there is not a single point in my life where I'm going to miss the chance in a thief game or any thief-like game to rapidly knock like eight to nine people out back to back to back as they barely recognize what's happening around them, okay? That is classic thief. Well, 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 Lord Marlowe. I actually was looking for you. I'm supposed to execute this man. I had to kill him. Make it slow. I'm thinking about where I could dump his body where he would just sort of drown. But I can't take him to the... I'm not sure I can get to the sewers. So many bodies. Look, it's a, it's a good bar. And I am the Knife Street Slasher. Look, I didn't kill them. All right, they're alive. They'll live. With concussions that will haunt them for the rest of their lives. We'll let the rats take Marlo. That seems fair. You have a good day, Marlo. He'll drown and I'll get credit in a couple seconds. Yum, yum. Yum, yum, you're right. A fine vintage. Was that gambling den at? Uh, this was, I would say, overkill. I don't think many of these people deserved it, but in my defense, they. One of them had a sword, which honestly was the one that sort of escalated the situation. This guy right here had a sword. Marlo has drowned. The bastard deserved to be punished. Let this serve as a warning to the other nobles. Let's just get everyone in a pile so I don't get confused. All right, I don't want to think that someone's a body that's not supposed to be there. We're going to stack everyone from the bar in the pile. There's still more of them, too. Like, every single time I think I'm done stacking, there's another body shows up. All right, where's that but Where's the gambling den? Where's all the money at? Where's the whole reason I knocked all these people out? Marlo was merely a bonus. Uh, it's gotta be down here. Oh, this is the toilets. You're telling me I, uh... Eh, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, you're telling me I knocked the, all those people out for a place that doesn't exist? That's not how toilets do. 
You're telling me I knocked every one of those people out for the gambling room. Despite the fact that I don't I don't think there is one. That's uh That's mighty depressing. That's kind of fucked up. I feel sorta of bad now. Well, I don't see any other rooms. So, I guess, different place. The place you're in is the gambling den. You're telling me! <laughs> you know, that actually makes a lot of sense. When I think about it carefully. Back at the guard sewer. Dude, this map is so well made. I didn't even see this vent before when I was coming down here. Welcome back! Shut up. Don't act like we're friends, rat. Alright? What we did was a transaction. We're not friends. I'm going back in the sewers. We have to find what the thieves hid. Remember, there are no monsters in the vents. Just thieves. And rats. We only checked one of the hallways. We're looking for the thief's treasure, which is likely down this hallway. Oh yeah. Ah, this must be the hideout. Is it? This looks like a dead end boarded up wall, my guy. Uh, are you sure? I think he's talking about one of these two spots. This seems more likely. <laughs> ah, yes. Whoa. Um, yeah, this is absolutely the hideout. Okay, well, I'm not seeing any other thieves. Raphael's journal. I'm liking this new crew. They don't take unnecessary risks and look out for each other. The hideout is decent for the most part, but we had to barricade the east entrance and have been told to steer clear of that part of the sewers. The boss does her best to take care of us and make sure we all get our cut, but Lord Builder, her cooking tastes worse than the sister and smells on a hot day. This is the third time in a row her stew has given me the shits. Like, I keep telling her we need fresh ingredients. Yikes. So that haunt, the eastern sewer might be haunted, but I refuse to admit it until I see a ghost. So shut up. Don't even bother trying to convince me. Unless I see a ghost. This level ain't haunted. Idiot! <laughs> Never fall asleep! Roll water being a thief! Bad timing. Thanks for the vault key, idiot. <laughs> I'm sending you to the depths. With the others. You're a criminal, like me. I will not accept competition. You see, I am the knife street slasher kill people for a living on a whim it's fucked up that's fucked up what I'm doing to these fucking people rookie rookie and sad <laughs> give him a little smack I didn't hit him chat old chest key if I hit him, they'd be fucking dead. We lurked out when we found- We lucked out when we find this old pump station. Didn't take long to spruce it up, either. I had one of the boys saw off one of the ladders to the cistern walkway. This will surely slow down any nosy taffers trying to make their way through that area. Our crew is small, sure, but we work well together and keep a low profile. Don't take on jobs that are too risky, and I told the boys to avoid blood if at all possible. As I've said before, it's better to do these things quiet-like. Knock him out and grab the loot without him drawing attention. The only fly in the soup is that I had to have a sit down with the local alderman, a thug who goes by the name of Marlo. We get to keep our thieving privileges, but only via a monthly donation. It's funny, we had no idea the basement entrance to his place was next to the east tunnel gate. <laughs> had I known that, I would have found somewhere else to set up shop. 
So to be on the safe side, I boarded up the gate to the East Sewer Tunnel. We, near, we don't need any nasty surprises. On a more personal note, none of the boys can cook for Taff, so I'm having to be the cook and their dead mother. Note to self, find a better spot for the vault key. The dang thing keeps falling off the bedpost. It fell off the bedpost when I smacked her head in with my blackjack. Also, um, this was bullying. This was like really a lot of bullying. Like they were not good at their job. And um, I just flat out completely like just destroyed everyone here. Like they never stood a goddamn chance. And now their vault and all the treasure within is mine. Thanks for the 300 gold, idiots. Objective complete. It's kind of pathetic. And this is the pump station. And now we technically have a way into the basement of the guy if we can find a way past the barricaded door. You'd think my character would be able to, like, knock these off the door, but I can't. So, uh, no going that way. I'm going that way. Got any more money here? Ow! Handwritten tip. Perry thinks it could be near the old Gwendolyn place, and White believes it's farther south by Foundling's Pool. If you ask me, both have a witchy feel to them, but I guess... But any, so any guess is good. Best to stick to the shadows, though. More footpaths and watchmen down that way. Witchy? You tell me there's some kind of witchy's treasure around? Hang on, let's worry about that once I have to worry about whatever's down here in that. Oh! Sleeps back around. Any actual treasure? Do these thieves keep everything in a vault? This is not a bad cooking situation for like a sewer. Ooh, bread. Don't mind if I do. And? Turlet. Everything a man could need. I think it's time we get out of here. Back up top. I have no method to get to the eastern side of the sewer. What's the button for my inventory? Hang on. I want to use. I want to press the button. That, there we go. It's just I or L. One of the two. There we go. I want to check through my keys yeah none of those none of those tell me anything really helpful okay we're going back up topside I don't think I can slip through that but that is a closed door I think that is I think that way is technically the way to where I want to go Wait a minute, hang on, I actually I have a compass for this. Where's my compass? East. So this is the eastern side. It is all boarded up. We can't go that way. At least not from here. We're gonna go back up top and just continue on from the streets for now, since we technically got what we were looking for here. And we already could we completed a bunch of stuff actually doing this. The sewer, the sewer was a good scene. I think we can all agree the sewer went very well for us. But I want to double back to, uh, honestly, Bridge, Upper Bridge Street, which we're not far from right now. Let's cut our lights. So this is to the gambling den. We want to go north, so we're going to take this path. Is that a skeleton? Oh, that's a, that's a scary apothecary room. We want to go this way. Which we haven't gone yet. There's also a shop that says key on- Whoa, what the hell's this? The elevator is out of order until further notice. A journeyman from the Inventors Guild has been summoned and will make repairs in due course on behalf of Pendley Estates. What the fuck is this? What's this building? Eh? I can't even see up it to tell what I'm looking at. I need to get back onto the roof. Hang on, before I... Nope, that's it. I'm gonna guess... I guess I'll go up that spooky elevator. Is this locked? No door. Where am I? We're going into Market Square, which I've cleared. 
We cleared Market Square ages ago. All right, well, uh, I'm willing to just take the... Go up manually. Up this, whatever it is. Unless there's something up there I should know about. Beforehand. No one, there's no such thing as ghosts on elevators. They're too mobile. Too loud. Oh wait, this is just a... It is just an elevator, chat. There's no... Chad, it is. It is literally an elevator that takes me to the exact spot I wanted to go back to. <laughs> All right. Hell yeah. Uh, no mercy, Chad. We know the rules. Shut up! Ow! Uh, Sorry, man. I'll make it look like he fell down the stairs. While trying to take the elevator or something, I don't know. Yeah. There you go. Problem dealt with. Uh, this is kind of a pointless door. This is a pointless to unlock door. Uh, I'm in. <laughs> I, I got in. Simple as that. But why? It's locked. No reason to do that. Anything? Nothing. I don't think there's much necessarily up here. Although that is Pendley Estates. Ow, and I do see a balcony. That's it. Uh, I've, had it now. I've had enough of you. Ow. Ow. Somebody help. I... That is Pendley Estates, and they probably have money. I like money. I gotta get rid of this guy. <laughs> I gotta get rid of this guy. His face is gone. He was ugly anyways. Get me up here. I believe I may have in fact already looted Pendley Estate. Like this might have been a place I've already breached and cleared. I have literally looted this place already. Pendley did not have to die. Or the guards of Pendley had did not need to perish for this. <clears throat> My legs are shattered. My soul is broken. I am running low on heat. No, I'm not. We're going to the blacksmith. They should rename this game to Murderer. <laughs> Shut up! If you know what's good for you. That would be a bad name. Where the hell is the blacksmith? Is this not the blacksmith? I, the map is... Uh, there's part of the map that's upside down. I can't read what that says. Arcade Alley. I gotta get to Arcade Alley. Have I been to Arcade Alley? Because that's the symbol for blacksmith, but uh, there's no way to get there from here. I gotta get to Arcade Alley. I gotta get to the Gamer Zone. Fuck. I gotta get back up there. Apparently, I did want to kill that guy. He was in the way. That's the apothecary shop. Yeah, I gotta get over there. I gotta get to Arcade Alley. I gotta figure out what's in the arcade because that blacksmith seems like something I should care about. Can I climb this? No, sign cannot be climbed. How the hell did I get... I took the elevator. 
I don't know why I was struggling to remember how I got up. As if, like, I this isn't a super obvious be bit of the terrain. Pfft, what, did you trip or something? Okay. Technically, we're directly above the blacksmith right now. But I don't think this would put me where I need to be. This isn't going to do it. I don't think I can get to the blacksmith. At least not the way I want. Because I don't think there's a way to get to it from above. There might be a window. Like one of the other exits of this place might technically dump me where I want to be. Like right here. Matter of fact, I think there's... No, that's Solitude Gardens. Fuck! I'm directly over... The blacksmith. Also the clock tower too. There's like four... Wait a minute, I can totally get to the clock tower. Hang on, everyone shut up. Watch shut the hell up. We're getting distracted. The clock tower had problems. Some kind of mechanic. Where the hell am I? This isn't... Is that a... Is that, a, is that fountain uh, exerting dark... Like dark power? Builders are naturally evil. Chat, that's the thing about builders. We super don't have to feel bad about killing them. Builders are like the scarier version of guards and they are inclined to... E they even have way wear eye patches. Did you know that? I'm gonna steal their holy symbol. I drank it and I think it may have it gave me a breath potion or something. I don't know what that did for me, but I drank it. It healed you, I think it did. Hang on, I'm gonna get rid of this. Balcony, balcony, fucking sh uh, chandelier, so I can move around this room safely. Is something there? No. Nothing that concerns you, asshole. Yeah. <clears throat> the bell tolls once again. You're coming with me. That guy's dead. Just dead. Where am I? I believe I've been there. I have not been here. I'm going up here, up to the top of the bell tower, so that I can find out why one, it's not working, and two, why it's full of gold? That's a wizard. He could blast my face off with one magical spell. If he was ever going to wake up at all. These guys are criminals by nature. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh, what did I tell you? What did I say? What did I say? Demons. Demons in this house. Anyways, I'll be taking this. I'll be taking this one. I said I'll be taking this one. I'm in. Fifty dollars. <laughs> I see you stopped. That'll be my arrow. Oh, oh, oh. Stop! Stop, please! Stop! 
Dear Abbot Edric, Allow me to bring to your attention that of the Archway Club. I have recently been made aware of the nightly comings and goings of unsavory characters and nobles alike to that establishment. I submit that as the City Watch continues to turn a blind eye, the Church must visit this den of iniqui iniqui iniquity with hammer in hand every servant, Priest Aaron. I believe that's the gambling hall that I have already visited on the house for him, therefore his purpose has been served. He no longer has a purpose. This was perhaps a mercy to kill him. You're telling me I can't get into the clock tower? Even though it's broken? Some bullshit. So, uh, what the hell do I do now? I guess I can clear the rest of this church. It's not really a church, is the thing. I mean, it is, but, like, it's not like a... It's a builder church, which means it's basically... That's mine. That's mine. JC will understand I deserve it. I, I deserve this. You hiding anything? You got anything else behind you, JC? I'm hearing spooky chanting. I'm leaving. Okay, I've been here, I can tell, because that sewer grate is open. We're leaving. We're continuing onwards, once I confirm where I am. I'd like to go to Lang Miller's ward. This is a place I haven't been to yet, this whole side. This seems like a solid plan. Let's, start, let's check out the top side of this whole deal. I see a building I can loot up there too. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. Haven't had to use my rope arrows for much yet. At what point do I have the entire military of this kingdom after me? Because I've almost stolen, I've killed and stolen from almost everyone. Like, it's bad. I'm, I am a, like, this is, I'm a psycho. My character is a psycho. Hey, hey, hey. Where am I? Well guarded. I wanted to be here. Wait, didn't I literally want to be here? Hang on, there's a guy with armor on. That means he's free game. Aim like the wind. Tomato gaming. Master Archer. He didn't even freaking notice. He ignored it. Whatever. I don't care either. I don't even want to go that way yet. <laughs> That's like a little extra thing later. I don't care. I don't care either. If he doesn't, I don't. I wanted to check the ground floor for ghouls. It must be the wind. All right, let's see what we got here. Nothing. Dead end. Uh, I'll trip it back into the tunnels. Nope, never mind. One of these ones is going to take us to the eastern sewers, and I'm worried about that. We're on the western side. Wait a minute. That's got a fully... That's all... I can totally get in that clock tower's roof. With a rope arrow. Note to self. I'm getting... I, I stomp on the cricket that made that sound because he must have been the, the most powerful cricket ever born. That was the loudest cricket I've ever heard in my life. Wait a minute. Could it be? No. For a second, I thought it might have been Arcade Alley. But that's the wrong way. Okay. So, there's one cricket in this fucking clearing that is very powerful. I want to get up the clock tower before I do this. Actually, I want to try this. I think I can do it. I know I've said before some wild claims like I can go anywhere. I'm blah, 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 blah. You know, I think I can genuinely fucking break my legs trying to do this. I think this is going to be how I have to reload the game again. <laughs> I can't get up.
get up there. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have to take the elevator. Imagine living here. Yeah, it, no, it's unbearable. Like the roads, the roads are they they crisscross, they s swerve. I'm already at the top. I literally can't go higher without manually climbing. That's fine. We'll get up there. We're gonna get up there. Hop. I'm getting up that fucking clock tower, chat. Cause I think that I think the rim of the clock is actually made out of wood. I don't think I am actually, they kind of built that, the the people who own this building kind of built it in such a way that I can't go up the way that seems easiest to me. But I think I still can, I'm gonna try one of the other windows, I'm gonna try this window. That's totally uh, wood, I'm, I'm telling you now, I can get up there. I can get up there. I know I can, Chad. You gotta believe me. I'm not crazy. There's gotta be a way up. They don't design buildings to not have ways up them. There might not really be a way up. I'm starting to lose hope already. There's definitely no way. I, I, I'm getting a closer look now. I don't think the rope would be able to coil down it. I'm willing to fire one rope arrow at the rim of the clock to see if maybe, maybe it does something. Maybe. My arrow literally didn't go far enough to reach it. Uh, so I think that's pretty damning that I don't think I can actually do it after all. I'm sorry, Chad, I let you down. I failed you. There is, in fact, no way up the rope thing. You heard it here first from me, professional thief man, Tomato Gaming. There is zero way to get up there, no matter what. I believed in you. I'm disappointed. Blah, 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 blah. That's what you sound like. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to steal some things. Like this goblet worth $25. You sound like a, you sound stupid, Chad. Ow. Oh my God. Sir, sir. Hold on, I'm coming. There's more people coming. Ha! Back ye. Back. I said back. Ow! I doubt this guy packed rocks. I can't get up this beam. Apparently it's... All you gotta do is get one clean shot. I co I shot it right over his fucking head. I knew I should have shot this guy from a mile away when I had the chance. That was honestly my mistake. Are you fucking kidding me? It's fine, we'll just go up this way. Whiffed it. I, it's not a whiff, dude. All right, it's not. Let me make it clear. It's not a whiff. Okay, I'm a professional. I was aiming at the guy who said he was also on his way. There were multiple people. There was a multiple person fight, even if you couldn't see them. The other guy was very sneaky. Okay. You'd know that if you were listening. I think you'd remember that in the future. This time I'm not going to miss this. This time, this guy's as good as dead. I think I just heard him snore. He just woke up. This time, when he turns this corner, it's gonna be the last thing he ever does. Okay, he's actually not coming around the corner. Um... 
There he is. There he is. <laughs> Prepare to die. Builder scum. No way did he survive that. No way did he survived that one. Hang on, let me try that again. No way am I missing just like an inch off his head. This, this time it's over. He survived three arrows. I have a new plan. Get ready to follow what I do now because it's time to play them. It's time to play to the meta. Okay, watch this one. Y'all want to see me play to the meta of Thief? Check this one out. Get me down. Get down there. What's up, idiot? Flash Bob! Hang on, I need a sword actually. The sword's actually better for this. He's blocking every swing. Alright. Fine, I'll duel you. We'll duel. My guy blocked in the wrong direction. Ow! Mine eyes! <laughs> mine eyes! Alright, that's it! This time, for the last time, on guard, jackass. Flash pop! Prepare to die. I've healed. My eyes! My eyes! Oh, my eyes! My eyes. Why did I do this? No, really. <laughs> Cause there is nothing there. No, really. I guess just a healing fountain. This is so ill-advised. This is like a bad idea. I shouldn't be doing this one. Huh? He, all he knows is he was shot by someone in this direction. I'm under attack here. All he knows is that somewhere in the direction he's facing, there is a guy hey, shooting at him I'm with arrows. He can't see me. Here. I'm in advanced darkness. I tell right now! Oh. Oh. There's nothing in solitude. Garden. Well, well garden at all. I did all this and killed all these people for literally nothing. There was no reason to. He probably he had a family, probably. He might have. That's true. That's a good observation. There's a chance he had a family. Anyways, I'm going south to Wycombe. I think. I think that's the direction of this. Where am I? Yeah, that's Wycombe. Oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> this was a big mistake. Something over there. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. I f I'm starting to feel bad for these guards because this is because I'm like not stealthing parts of the. Hey man. Is that a knife in your hand, or is that a bottle in your hand, man? Don't mind me. I got you. Got it. I'll be taking that, <laughs> and I'll be taking your life. Don't mind me. I'm a thief, and I'm the slasher of Knife Street. Chat. I am literally the knife street slasher. This should be expected. Anyone got unlocked windows on night uh, on the street? Oh! Thought I was gonna break my legs there. You literally minded him. I did. Look, just because someone says, don't mind me, doesn't mean you have to not mind them. That's bullshit. There's blood leading into the sewer. Wait, no, that's just soot. 
Come on, this might be something cool. Whenever something's locked, I feel compelled to open it. Open. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in! Okay, then. This is my way out. Oh, this is my way out. I won't be going that way. Just yet. That's my exit for the entire mission, which has now been cleared. Obviously, I needed to mine that guy because he probably would have ratted on me. Chat? Is the lockpicking random? No, it's timed. I have to time the release of the button as the pattern of sound ends. That's how it works. I'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary around these parts. Seems like pretty straightforward stuff lately. Although that balcony with the wall there seems like something. Just gotta get up there. So, get up there. I can. I'm gonna get up there. I'm going to actually use a rope arrow for this. Because this looks like something strange. I'm in. But why? Why would I go up here? I didn't really answer that question to myself before climbing. Now, ooh, there's a vent. We all know what that means. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, this means super omega secret. Or like nothing. Sus? No, chat. Not sus. Spiders. <laughs> Usually. I don't remember if Dark Mod has big spiders or not. I think it does. It might mean spiders. Nuh-uh. Uh, no. <laughs> I'm in? 25 gold in my pocket. 25 gold. In my pocket. Where am I? Hang on, there's some idiot that just opened the door. They've re they've let they've let me know their presence. Yeah. <clears throat> I took fall damage from that. <laughs> Why don't you just die already? <laughs> <laughs> what were you hiding in here, son? It's me. Well, this is a nice building. I have no idea where I am, but these candles are mine. These are 40 gold each. Why, that's a pretty penny for me. And this goblet, why, I can sell that for about seven dollars. And why, there's absolutely a secret on the roof of this. No, 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 this one's the one. Check it. Come on. What? Oh, cool. Little vent. This vent had scary music start when I uh, opened it, but I've been in here. Ah, yes, it all makes sense now. It all makes sense now. Anyways, back down I go. Where's all the, there's no, I am actually baffled I haven't, that's a good face. Hello. 
That's a good, that's a good portrait. That's a good portrait. Nothing of value. Anywhere. I mean, I already looted this building, but it's baffling to me that there isn't like a, ooh. All right, that's good. We also eat their bread. Hello? I heard a scary sound. Just wanted to make sure there wasn't anything weird happening. No secrets? Yeah, that's actually like, it's wigging me out, chat, because I'm, I think I'm just missing them because I'm out of practice. I think I'm just, it's a lot easier to see secrets in Thief 2 than it is in Dark Mod, to be fair. You can really whiff stuff easily in Dark Mod. So there's a chance I'm just completely whiffing them through just being an idiot. Only in hard mode. Shut up! It's not only in hard mode, idiot! I hate you. I'll never let you get away with this. I'm in. I still don't know where I broke it into. Or why I keep doing this. At a certain point, you should just sort of focus on your immediate objective. But me, I'm going to look for a secret book in this bookshelf. Totally clean. I don't believe it. I really don't believe it. Naked! <laughs> Naked! Gross! What is that? <gasps> what just happened to me? It seems I made a big mistake. Um, it seems I made a big mistake. I can't leave. I can't leave! <laughs> Boy, uh, it seems I've uh, stumbled into a wizard's trap. Hello, we wanted secrets. <laughs> we wa we asked for this. Seems I've stumbled into the wizard's trap. Hello, the cube, the black cube. The painter's wife is dead. Shut up, she's gonna be fine. I'll get to her eventually. Once I find out how to get out. Hello? The orb. What is, uh, huh? Huh? Uh? Um. The painter's wife is gonna die. There's not much we can do about that now. The pain, we've been portaled to Zen. Okay, we're gone. We're in Zen now. We're not making it back. The painter's wife is dead. We are in Zen. Did someone just try to shoot me? Listen, asshole, was that you? Easy. <laughs> Maybe I respawn. Oh. Nope. Nope. Well, uh, now I know I can actually open some of these doors, which is also cool, because I didn't do that before, and I wouldn't mind being able to open some before I leave, or at least loot whatever's in that building before I go. Oh. Does this also work? No. I should have, uh, I should have been more careful. I'm gonna cut the light this time. You guys didn't loot before I... Don't, don't do anything yet. I'm trying to loot your room. There's nothing. Well, 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 Mr. Freeman, well, well, well. I'm just gonna run for it before the ball sees me. Huh. Hey, at least no one's probably died in here before. Like, it's probably relatively safe. 
Ah! Uh, it's slippery. All right, there's a lot of like water. There's a lot of moisture on the blocks, on the the rocks. It's making it hard to keep a grip. And you know it's gotta be slippery because I probably wear really good shoes for like gripping. I'm in. All right, I got an idea. I'm gonna run up to that orb and I'm gonna cut in half. What's up, moron? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Come down here. He's scared. He, he's noticed my power. Uh, Ow, fuck. Ow, owie. Where am I going? <laughs> Why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to me? I think some kind of thief broke into my magic ball. Water. Place to sleep if I wanted. Um, the water arrow. Thanks. Why did this happen to me? Did I deserve this? Hey, Zeus. Did I deserve this? I'll have to go deeper to find out, I suppose. Hey, Chet, this isn't even the main objective. This is a side... Why is this happening to me? Uh, 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 ow! Fuck! Jesus! Uh, spikes! Something's awry. The knife slasher, the knife street slasher went and gone, d done disappeared. No one knows what happened to the man, the monster of knife street. What we do know is that he, he was a real piece of shit. I, nah, we're not gonna miss him. All right, just gotta do it in one, no mistakes. Uh, go out! <laughs> what is that even? At least it's gotten interesting. The game was already interesting. It didn't need to be more interesting. Excuse me. No, no, I don't want to go back up. No, I want to go down. Not that far down. <laughs> Not that far down. I saw like a a, a treasure. I, I, entering the wizard's abode was a big mistake. Oh, oh go, go, go! Ow, that's the best we're gonna get, I'm gonna quick save. Cool squid game mod. I know how this works. It's an invisible floor. What? Okay, it's not an invisible floor. It's... Uh, it's, it's a jump. Whoa! Whoa! There was an invisible floor. It was just right here. Okay. It's kind of, uh... It's, it's kind of tricky. Shut! Shut! Hey. I'll also be taking that. Ander Sarkin Death Mask. <laughs> this mask looks priceless. I don't think any of the fencers around here deal in solid gold. Huh. Well, there we have the Andersark and Death Mask. Um, we might be cursed, you know, with some kind of horrible, horrible curse, but we have the mask. 
It is said that at the far edge of the world where the sky meets the earth resides strange people known as the Andersarken, who make their curious dwellings out of damp wood and mushroom tops. Their bright glowing lamps bring light of all colors to the eternal gloom that otherwise pervades this nether realm. They stand no taller than the quill with which these words were first put to paper, and it is not known what language they speak, if they speak at all, for they are curious... For, for though they are curious, they are extraordinarily shy. Any stray explorer who peers into the darkness of this bizarre place would find himself surrounded on all sides, above and below, by countless tiny eyes glinting and flitting about the dark. To come so far off course. Huh. So I've got like the the death mask of the of the, like the borrowers or something, right now. Naked. Dude, cross. I'm getting out of here. Or it's the Smurfs. So, uh, well, that was a thing. Um, I'm going to assume that mask actually goes to something else in the map, believe it or not. Ah! ah! My screamer's better than his. Mine was a better one. I did a better scream. Where am I? I think it's time to start going towards Marlowe Manor, chat. We've, there's been a lot of death. There's been a lot of pain. A lot of people, a lot of good men have died uh, as a result of me and as a result of their own poor decision making. Many more men will probably die before the night ends. But, um, you know, we can always hope that, uh, maybe at some point, everyone will just go on break today and stop freaking getting in my way. Honestly. I think that's the real, I think that's the real lesson we can all learn on this, on this journey of ours is stop getting in my way. Stop bothering me. I am the thief today. Don't show up. Don't come anywhere near me. Don't come near my shit. Get out of my way. I think that's the lesson we can learn. Right? Like, I, I think that's good. Don't get near me. Don't come anywhere near me. Don't approach me. Stay out of my way. I'm the thief. Go get your own places to thief. Because I'm thieving this one. I can't quite seem to get down these stairs. I seem to be flying. Um. You know, I was given a lot of confidence right there. Uh, I was given a lot of confidence there. Uh, which was apparently false. Um. I was really led to believe there that I could fly. Buggy. How do I do this then? Without falling to my death! It seems like this spot is not the right spot to descend if I want to live for long. I'll go down this ladder instead. And into this vent that I've never explored before. I'm in. Where the hell am I? It's like a stock room. You know what that means, chat? Money. <laughs> These kinds of places stock gold. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? Better luck next time, fucker. This one's mine. Come on. Come on. Come on.
I mean, what do we have here? That's a short one. Two hundred and fifty gold coins and a, a big crate that I could also open if I could find the right angle. And another four hundred or so gold coins. Huge money. That's the most money we've made so far on any of our any of our ventures. I don't even know where I am. I really just don't know where I this is just a random stock room that you can only get in through a vent. Uh ah, Alright, well. Fuck that guy. You had it coming. I'm out of here. Let's get to Lord Marlowe's. He's already dead. He, maybe all of his guards already left when they realized he was yeah, dead. Dead, dead, dead. Ha. Any cards? Where am I? Lower Street. Hey! He's alive. He'll, he'll live. This interdimensional rat will live to see another day. Don't decolon in chat. It takes a lot more than that to take a rat down. It takes like this. What the? Weird. All right. We're headed towards Lord Marlowe's place. We also have another objective that we have yet to confirm actual location of um never hurts to steal a golden chalice from a buried chapel we still need to find that this looks like a room with evil in its heart is that something over there don't fucking do this i said don't who was that who was that guy? I don't know who that person was. <laughs> they were innocent. They were innocent. I have to quick load when I get in. Who was that man? Who was that strange man? You killed the wife. <laughs> That wasn't the wife. I don't think. Stay out of my way. <clears throat> this ends now. Who are you? <sighs> I'm just bad. I don't know who that strange man is. I'm get. I'm gonna knock him unconscious. I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna knock him out. Now I have to know what's in that room. Okay, this guy comes out here. He's like a weirdo that walks on the street. I don't, I just don't remember why at any point I would have an objective that says like, don't kill the weirdo. Cause that's just some weirdo. That's not like the guy. We'll go a different way, fine. Oh, that's like an Omega guard. He's got the cone head. We gotta be careful around him. He could absolutely break me in half. I'm gonna keep following him. Where are we going? I'm following you. What was that? Nothing. That looks like a church that might have a uh, chalice hidden deep within it. I see open windows. But I'm not entirely sure on ways I can get up there. Oh, fuck. Mm. Stop, idiot! Uh. Get over here. 
little loud, but he's out of the way. It's time to roll. Let's do this. We gotta steal whatever's in that church. It's gonna be mine, Jet. All mine. I see a way I could get up. I am baffled by the fact I took fall damage there. I have no idea how that happened. That was like a lot of health of fall damage too. I'm not taking that. Um, I gotta find a way up one of these buildings. I could rope arrow. I believe most of this is wood. That weirdo with the cone head's gonna come back soon and he's gonna try to kill me. So I don't really have unlimited time. I can't climb this. Oh, that works. There's a small pipe. You know, this is active electrical lines that are actually sparking. Uh, most people would be uncomfortable climbing this. Uh, share the treasure with Chet? I don't think so. They haven't. What have you done to deserve it? Hup! Oh, take me back. I don't think we're gonna be sharing any of the gold with Chet. I'm going this way first. Let's see what's over here. Cleared that, absolutely sure. Have not been up there. Nor have I been up this. <laughs> what's up? Another guy. He's, he's stomping over his dead friend. Help, there's a no, I'm real angry. He's getting mad. Ah! Oh. Ow! Fuck you! You're gonna die by my hand, asshole! You're gonna die by. Yeah. Okay, let's try that again from the top. be in a different position <laughs> that was not what i wanted to happen that was i i thought i could grab that i i was gonna try to grab that <laughs> that was the whole point no 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 it's okay i can bamboozle him See, now he's gonna pull out his sword and he's gonna realize he's within shooting range. Now he's gonna pull out his sword and he's gonna really wanna shoot the arrow again, and by then it will be too late. Fool. Where the hell am I? This is Marlowe Manor! It all makes sense now. I don't wanna go in there. That was kind of like a later plan. Wait, is that... Am I... Oh my god. A clock tower. Or a clock... Whoa. A clock tower. We're in. Is there treasure up here? There is. Mine, mine. That's all mine. That's called money in the bank. We're doing pretty good on funds. Save the clock tower. No, no, no. There was never a point where I was planning on saving it. I was just planning on stealing whatever was inside of it that may be making it not work so well, which in this case was a uh, man. It seems like someone was living in the clock tower. I can't steal them, nor do I want to. But what I can do is take all of their stuff, therefore destroying their life, basically stealing their life from them. It's as close as I can get. Where am I? Rope arrow? Nice. Why would I need it? 
Rope arrows have not had much of a use to me yet, and I think it's because I haven't been looking for places to rope arrow. This is Hill Street. Have I been there? Oh. Ow! How did I do that? Am I magic? I think I'm magic. I'm magic. I don't know. I don't know. I think I could do anything. I think I could do, I could do anything. I, I'm a wizard. I did it. I don't know. This whole building corner, this whole area, the right here is really strange. I don't know what its deal is. Um, but I don't really want to be down here because now I know where I am. I'd rather undo that whole wizard event. <sighs> do I? I don't want to do Marlowe yet. Marlowe is not where I want to be. I don't want to be in the Marlowe mansion. I want to follow Marlowe's mansion all the way around till I can get to the church because I want to steal the chalice first. Which is, um, relatively complicated, <laughs> honestly. I kind of made this harder by going this way. I'm going to try to grab this like a ladder. Oh. Did I see My arm shattered into a million pieces and like broke like ice. Like, broke like ice, like someone dropped on the ground. I didn't even stand a chance on that. How did I get up here? I need to go back down. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, we're doing it right now. Okay, we did it. I wanted to jump onto this active power line. That's my destination. Let's do it. This is safe. It's killing me. 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 These are live. Well, that one's live. This one's safe. We're running out of healing potions to goof around with, which makes me want to try to do this faster or find a way over it. Hmm. Other options. Other options. Hmm. Gosh, this is tricky. Y'all want to see how fast I can bunny hop? Don't, that cut that one out. Ignore that. That was the warm up. Okay, out. Okay, maybe that was a one off thing that I did the first time properly. You know what I mean? Like, maybe that was like a one off try. That was that. We preserved a lot more health that time. That was pretty much as good as we're going to get him in a quick save. I'll take that. That was a half W. That was a sideways W. Why did I step on the active generator with lightning bolts coming out of it? Okay, that was an F. <laughs> I'm going to be stuck in this little crack. An E. Yeah, I got an E. I'm getting a lot of E's. I want to get over there because I think one of those windows might open. This is invisible. Wait, there's a vent! There's a vent right there! Let me in. I don't know what I'm doing in this hole. Where am I? This feels like a mistake. Feels like I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> like, this is straight up, this is goblin tier shit. Hello? Where the fuck am I? But there's nothing down here. Aside from another vent. Where am I? This place is scary. I don't know. This place is full of webs. It's full of webs. And... Wine? Yeah, but none of it's vintage enough to take. None, absolutely none of it is vintage. I wouldn't go near this wine in a thousand years. I seem to have found a catacombs or tomb of some kind by accident. And this is absolutely 
Not ideal. Where am I? What? Why, chat? I recognize this shape. Because I collected this shape from an idiot alchemist wizard that I killed like four hours ago. No way. Anyways. Huh. All right. God treasure hunter. He does it again. It's worth $200. <laughs> but it was secret. Thanks for the fucking box. This wasn't even the chalice. This is just like the Ark of the Covenant. But it was a secret. That's like an Omega secret. Wait. I wonder if there's multiple ways I could have gotten into it. No, this is just the way out, I'm sure. Because there's no way out from the way I came in, I don't think. A strange scroll. To whoever finds this, my sincerest salut salutations to you, dear explorer, for finding this little slice of nature amidst the jungle of steel and stone. Thorleifsen, Wigmundir, and I, Mac Oadha Boo. These are some extremely made up names. Uh, discovered this garden not so long ago, a place where the three of us have finally decided to lay down our sword and hammer and rest our weary bones. We had first met as strangers at the Lion's Head Inn countless months ago, but after several rounds of good ale and even better palaver, we left as friends. Thorleifsen was a medicine man, a keen practitioner of human anatomy. On his way to the medical academy in Germania, I happened upon him at the Lion's Head, where he enlightened me on all manner of things. Shortly thereafter, we had met Wigmundir. When he so boisterously burst through the tavern doors, a literate man, he had traveled the farthest... He had traveled the farthest of either of us, describing to us the endless seas of sand and scrub. Wigmundir had ventured across the great sea from a desert valley called San Luis. And as for myself, well, I am not but a humble builder from the Isles of Anglin, who only seeks to find simple joys in life. That night we broke bread, shared ale, and palavered along, long into the moonlit night. From there, the three of us together journeyed the city and beyond, seeing sights beyond your ken, and encountering things you, well... You just wouldn't believe. Months passed all too quickly, the three of us on the road together. But like all great things, our time together was coming to an end. It was time for us to find a place to wipe the dust off our boots and go our separate ways. In doing so, we discovered this quaint little garden and spent our last nights together, regaling our adventures and sharing the time we had spent together. We never checked to see if there was any Ark of the Covenant or those kinds of things. Honestly, it would baffle me if there was. I assume this is just a nice garden. By now, I'm certain you have seen the hole in the earth leading to the crypt below. Oh, okay. Wickman Deer was eager to dive down and explore it, but for Thor Leifson and I, it was time to hang our hat and bid our farewells. So we leave this adventure to you, dear explorer, to whoever you find in the depths below. We hope it will bring you joy and prosperity. We'll certainly miss this place. I know I will. But you, dear explorer... I hope you find this place as magical as we have, and we wish you many adventures yet to come. Long days and pleasant nights, the Leafson, Wigmundir, and Mac Otabu. We killed one of them. We literally uh, slit one of their throats open and then stole their sigil, which opened the door. I quite genuinely said, gotcha, and then I think smacked one of them in half with a knife uh, in their tower. Oops. Hey, we got the thing. We're out of here. Next time, don't show your face around me. All right? Oh, wait. This does not... There's no way out of here. We don't leave this way. We have to leave the way we came. Oh, wait. Dude, imagine collecting the sacred sigil when you could simply pull the lever. Embarrassing. We're out of here. How do I leave? I vaguely, I thought that you couldn't leave this way. Like, it looks very 
um, impossible to traverse. Wait. Nah, it's possible to traverse. That was a very traversable, actually. <laughs> that might have been the most traversable thing I've ever done. Well, back to it. Uh, wait, this isn't traversable. Wait, I'm traversing? I've traversed. Okay, we're good. We, we've re-traversed. Yeah, I'd give that garden like a three out of five on Yelp. It was okay. It's just a garden, dude. It's not a big deal. You know what's more? You know what's more important than gardens? Treasure. Okay. More important thing than gardens is treasure. I don't think this is gonna lead all the way to the place where the windows are open. I might have to go back into the manor. Ah. Ah. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. I think I actually, I think I've bungled it. I think I might have to find a different way in. Well, well, well. Well, this is one way to get into the manor, I suppose. Cut the lights. This is Marlowe's estate. We already killed the guy, but we need his painting. We know the rules. This painting could be fucking anywhere. It may be hidden in a vault or somewhere really spooky. Is that his wife, or is it an evil lady? Let the arrow decide. Alright, they were a good... Oh my god! Alright, they were a good person. They were a good... <laughs> they were a good person. I will knock them unconscious with the thing. She, she noticed me. She she was staring right at me. She's pretending she's pretending she didn't see me. Did you see that? She was looking right over her shoulder, just looking at me while I was looking away. Huh. Hey. Uh, what do they got in here? Huh? Huh? I think she's going to sleep. So All right, now she's awake. Stop it! <laughs> oh my God, just kick it off the table. Tabitha, sorry about that. Second, twenty-second of February. She doesn't. She's illiterate, evidently. She doesn't know how words work. Oh my God! Look at all these Y's. These Y's are throwing me off. Still no word for my family. Not so much as a letter from father either. I can only assume it's because Goffrey has been reading my mail. I feel like the only private space I still have left is his journal. As if anyone could ever read this. My only sanctuary amidst this wretched purgatory. Goffrey. Won't permit mother or father entry into the manor. Barring the occasional spat, Gofrey and father have always gotten along splendidly. This marriage was even father's idea, but something has changed. I can see it in his eyes, in his voice. He grows more agitated by the day. Something is troubling him. 30th of February. Captain Wilkins came by the manor again today, asking after Gofrey. But he knows as well as I that my husband is gone most of the day, and most nights for that matter. This man seems to be growing suspicious of my husband's other activities, but can't say it outright given his status. Perhaps that man should consider keeping to his own affairs. Gofrey is keeping his new pet in the basement. I can hear that whore's wailing every night. Oh my god! She's a lively one, I'll give her that, but my husband will certainly grow bored of her soon, just as he has with all the others. This guy's already dead, chat. Don't worry, we got him. Don't worry. We got him accidentally ages ago and then threw him in the sewer with rats, and then he drowned in the sewer, uh, shit water, and then I'm assuming he's being devoured by rats right now. Uh, just as he has with all the others, then maybe I'll get a decent night's sleep. However, all things considered, now seems as good as... A time as any to make my move given the current state of things. I only need to remain patient for a little longer. His guards are keeping a close eye on me as of late, but something is bound to give, and soon. If only she knew that in fact it was I, the thief. Do you have any valuables in here? 
<laughs> you got anything to steal? Like this candle? Got any treasure? I like money. It's my thing. No, no, nothing. Ooh. Objective complete. You have a good day now. I'm in. Naked. <laughs> Naked. So where's the painting? I, why am I turning on the lights? I'm a thief. Don't turn on the fucking lights. That's for the guards to do when they try to find you, idiots. What are you doing? <laughs> Stop doing that. I like walk into every room and I'm like scared of the dark. I'm like turning on the flashlight. You got anything on you, lady? This mansion is oddly abandoned. There seems to be no one wandering the halls. Why? Why is there no one around? The service tunnels, of course. This gives me incredible power. With this, we have full control of the entire interior of the mansion. We can access any room we so choose at an alarming rate. The question is, who the hell are we trying to get? Like, where the hell are all the guards? Hello? Hello? Haven't seen a guard in some time. Wondering where they are. Does this guy even, uh, like, buy guards? Like, where is everyone? I'm being lulled into a false sense of security and it's pissing me off. Plate. Mine. And mine. They're all dead. You killed them. No, I didn't. I didn't kill anyone in this place. I haven't been here yet. I would kill them if I could find... Oh. Yo, that's the painting. We found it. All right. I'm guessing this is just as simple as lock picking it. No way. Here I go. Here I go. I'm going to... I'm... I'm really breaking in. I'm down to the last tumbler on the lock now. I'm walking into the vault as we speak. Here I go. The golden skull of Seflamflata. Very nice. That's 250 gold that I will sell to my fence down the street. Ah, yes. The urn of the sacred one. Another wonderful thing for me to sell for money because I'm a thief. I'm stealing. And what's this? The... Hang on, why can't I grab this? What the hell is this? Ah, yes. A second layer of security to prevent me from just stealing this painting. Surely any second now a guard is going to come in and stop me. Any minute now. Any minute now. I'm really going to do it. I'm gonna go then if there's really no one to oh 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 no oh I did do this oh they did die I killed these two ages ago <laughs> I killed these two as a casual murder while I was just walking by. I didn't even go in the building. I just, I, those two died long ago. 
Well, I'm going to steal everything else. Why don't I take every painting? Ooh, an elevator. No, I like the stairs. I feel kind of bad now. Was that bad? Ooh, money. Two dollars. Y'all think this will dump me out by the church? We'll be back for the rest of uh, this guy's treasure. I'm going to do the church mission. No, let's finish this guy's house first. We've already killed every one of his guards and also possibly slain his wife. Uh, it's probably for the best that we loot this place all the way. Hello? I think everyone's really dead. Fancy key. Why? This key opens the sacred crypt of the guy or the basement. Or possibly open the way to the painting. We don't know, no. We don't know, we don't know that, though. Uh, I guess I'll be turning the lights on now because um, everyone's dead. I truly do believe I may have inadvertently cleared this place out through my uh, wild antics. I'd feel bad if the guy wasn't a psycho, you know? The urn. Wait a minute. Why this is locked? With neither lockpick working. Why this must be for this must be for the gambling. Wait, if gam fancy key. Marlowe's final letter. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Marlowe wrote this, or he stole this. Lily, this can go on no further. I do not know if you still live, for you must have ceased even to whimper, but this childishness must end. A stone mace has been found, and you shall arrive before dawn, and shall arrive before dawn to liberate you from your prison. And yet another specialist has been found to deal with the nuisance of this Andreas. I shall meet her in person this very eve so that I can proffer an appropriate advance payment. I do ponder just how she will kill him. Knives? Poison? The possibilities have no bound. Yet the end result will remain the same. Now, my dearest Lily, you must excuse me. I make my way to the Upper Bridge Street. I must say I'm curious as to why a woman of your reputation would live in such a rundown shack. I shall write again, my sweet Lily Flower. Affectionately yours, Godfrey. It all makes sense now, chat. Wait, what is it? What happened? Uh, the guards know what they've signed up, up for. The night's task complete. Make your way to the passage at the West City Gate. It says my objectives... Wait, he's saying something. I cut him off. He went... Well, we still have to rescue the painter's wife. And, um, it seems that it gave me an objective here to, um, not kill Marlo and instead expose him by leaving enough evidence on the courthouse captain's desk. Now, I killed him without even realizing that I killed him. Well, I kind of half did it. So that's off the table. I could do both though and also besmirch his legacy if I really wanted. But I think I've kind of done enough on the Marlowe front. I think I've done him plenty. Now we just gotta save his wife, that guy's wife from the basement. Uh, you know, the wife, the painter's wife, who is Marlowe's um, victim. Uh, she's probably in the basement, dead or dying. Naked. She's probably in the basement, dead or dying. So, um, we should probably hurry with that. Give me this. I'm glad everyone, apparently they only hired two guards in this building. Which is wor works for me, honestly. I, I am down with less guards. See what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna turn a corner and there is gonna be a guard and I'm gonna get I'm gonna be baffled. Just take the elevator. Spoons? Oh, you're right. I gotta grab those spoons. I lied, chat. I only said there was gonna be spoons in this stream to trick you into coming. There's no spoon. I don't even want the spoons.
Here we are, ground floor. <laughs> Take me back up! There was one god still alive! Oh fuck! <laughs> He's calling it down! Do I have any options to dispose of a man with armor? Dude, dude, stop. It hurt me. He hurt my head right there. Let me out! Where are they? No way. Was this pre pain like, getting the thing? The funny part is, I didn't actually make that much progress, so it's not a big deal, but I have to pick this again. That's all. The only thing I, I, I have to do again is pick this. Okay, so I have to remember to dispose of that man. I have to dispatch him. This time. No exceptions. Stop crongoing. I didn't do anything wrong. It's super easy, dude. It's not that bad. See, easy. Already got it. So I'm gonna save. I'm not gonna go to the church yet. We're saving that. We're gonna deal with this guy in the basement. As soon as we've dealt with the guy, well, the thing here. Fancy key, grab that. Now we go downstairs and use the fancy key on the thing to grab the letter so that we can get that objective just in case. The judge will be interested in this. I should see if I can find more letters like this. Nah. We're not doing that. Naked. So where's that guard that pissed me the hell off? Because I'm going to slay him. Hello? Hello? This is like the second floor. We're looking for the basement. Okay, we, we just did about the loudest string of things possible. Now this also opens. Nah, the good guard's in this spot. This is a big building. Now where the hell's that guard? I see him. We just have to maybe avoid him. Maybe we just don't go near him. You know, like, we don't have to fight the guy. We don't have to deal with him ever. Matter of fact. We're looking for the girl. We don't give a fuck about him. What's up, lady? You know which way it is to the basement? Yeah! She was gonna call the police. She was, she was, she was winding. I knew it! You're all in on it! This goes to the basement! You're all in on it! And you're all gonna die! By my hands as soon as I- Where is she? Lady! Lady, it's me! I was hired to save you! I'm coming in! Sorry. Help. 
There we go. We got there. Any minute now. I'm in. Somewhere. I'm in somewhere. Either she's in here or wine I can steal is. It's the latter. Okay, there's gotta be wine in here. Lady, I'll be here to save you in a minute. Just grabbing some wine. Real quick. Cause it's pretty high value. It's in season. I got him on my way! They must be down here. Ah. Lady! Are you here? No. This isn't the place either. <laughs> it's me, the Knife Street Slasher. I'm here to save you. But now. <laughs> I just quick save. This guy has gotten me dead to rights, Chet. This is the worst thing that could have happened. He snuck up on me like a fucking... No, he didn't save. He didn't save. That guy snuck up on me like a ghost in the night. Where did he come from? Oh! So it's a duel you want. It's okay. Okay. That guy is better at fighting than me. We got solutions for this. Flash bomb! Nice armor. All right. Now, I'm here to save you by any means necessary. Lady. Don't worry, you're gonna be fine. No one's ever died before. No one's ever died before. Is that money? Yeah, it's mine. Yeah, that's gonna be mine. That's gonna be... I'm gonna be taking that one. Why don't I put... Why don't I put my light out? <laughs> this is the guard room. I don't know why I walked in fully standing up with my lantern out in the guard room. Can't believe neither of these two noticed their death! <laughs> Alright. They're all in on it, chat. Don't feel bad for them. Ooh. I'll be taking that. These guys are so not innocent. I have half a mind it. And maybe a little bit of. We all know it's no use, but the Lord insists we keep trying to get her to eat. Agatha's been doing a fine job trying to sweet talk her into pulling all that furniture away from the door so we can get to her, but I told her to leave it. Poor thing's probably too weak even to stand by now. Didn't hear a single sound in the, in the ten minutes. I held my ear to the door. Yeah, this is a bad scene. Lady! Lady! It's me, the knife! The knife street slasher! I'm coming in! One way or another, I'm coming in. As soon as I find a way in. Ooh. Oh, that looks like a button. Everyone opens the door for the Knife Street Slasher. Or else. Is there anything behind here? My guy's too weak to move the boxes. He's actually like, he physically doesn't have the muscle power to move the boxes properly to see if there's anything behind here that might give me access to the room. 15 gold. Beautiful gold. Dex build. I'm not a dex build. You've seen my strength. Attention all stat, this door is to remain locked and closed at all times. I have the only key. If anyone needs access for any reason, come see me. This door isn't accessible, so... I'm not entirely sure where that door even leads. 
But I also can't open this. How the hell am I gonna save this lady? Lady, open the damn door, it's me. Oh wait, hang on. All right. She, obviously she would be very aware that someone's trying to pick the lock in, right? She'd probably make them panic and freak out. God damn it. This is double awkward because they're hearing all of it and I can't do it. There we go. <laughs> they just hear that in the distance. Fuck. Come on. What the hell's this lock made out of? Jesus. I'm in. Oh. Andreas will be waiting for her at his apartment. Is this a dead body? I I cannot tell. That seems dead. That's a I don't that might be unconscious, but it seems dead. That seems like a dead body. D Am I carrying this guy back to Andreas' apartment? I'm gonna save them and I'm gonna stab them and see if they're a corpse or not. Hmm. They were alive. They were barely alive. They took a, they took a whole swing beforehand, but the, the, the second stab was what confirmed it. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, lady, all you had to do to leave was remove this very obvious hole in the wall. Uh, break it open. Isn't that cool? Anyways, let's get up there. Come on. I can't take her out this way. This is like a, that's like a secret secondary option if I didn't want to. Well, their eyes are closed. That means they're probably sleeping. Marlo's third letter, letter. I don't know if I want to read Marlo's creepy letters. Dear Lily, I had, I'm not reading his creepy letters. These letters are going to be weird. All right, here's what I'm going to do. If you want to read the weirdo letters of this guy, you can read them very quickly because I'm going to scroll through them. Okay, if, if you care about the plot line of Marlo's weirdness, uh, that they're there. That should be enough to build a case. Oh, nice. It's also enough evidence for me to also ruin his uh, reputation post uh, humously. Nice. So what was in this hole? What the hell is this? Oh, this is Marlowe's super secret room that he doesn't let anyone into. Weird. Okay, Marlo, you fucking freak. Well, look, good news is, chat, I super killed that guy and drowned him. As a wall, a secret, yeah, you don't want to know that someone has a secret wall hole, really, ever. Um, not really good whenever you find out someone has, like, a wall hole that leads to a torture room. can't go that way. This way forks over. I'm just checking these hallways quick. For money, more so than anything. Nothing. Dude, I don't know what to tell this lady, but um, I'm gonna leave her unconscious corpse or body um, out in the streets unattended because I gotta loot that church. is the thing about it. Like, I genuinely don't know what to do about that because I'm getting that church. Huh, come on, Lily. Don't worry though, I'll get you like halfway. Where the hell is this guy's apartment? Hang on, you wait here. <laughs> That's gonna be happening a lot. Uh, Andreas' apartment is in Merkway. Currently, I'm down by Builder's Way. Not a problem. I can handle that. 
Come on, lady. Is in here? No. I'm just gonna like walk in front of the guard and he's gonna get so freaking PO'd at me. Which will prove to me that he is evil. He seems to be upstairs. Good. Wait here, lady. All right, come on. Don't. All right, Lily. I have a plan, but you're not gonna like it. Flash bomb. I can't see. A lady. Are you all right? Come on, Lily. We're gonna do the hell out of you. I guess a guard outside seeing this might think it's problematic. Like they might, a guard outside might see this and be like, wait a minute, that's not good. And try to stop me. Especially like given how many murders there have been. You might even dare say that that guard may be one of the only competent ones in the entire business. You know what I mean? He may actually be one of the most competent guards. <laughs> All right, no, he's not very good. <laughs> he's not. He, he's not that good. He, he's actually fairly average. All things considering, um, because he looked right at me. What's this doing open? Hmm. I don't have time. I don't have time to sneak out. I totally did. Because he's looking at like the plants or the vase or whatever. Let's give him a minute to get some distance from us and then we'll open it and leave. soon all right so i'll be i'll know how to pick i'll know where to pick you up wait right here outside the church relatively safe all things considering i'll be back later i have to loot the church i'll be back once i've collected the chalice <laughs> the horrible cursed chalice although i suppose it might also be just as easy to tr bring her to the apartment you. Hey, you only realized I was the criminal after they ran by. All right, I cannot, but they've mobilized everyone. Lily, turns out we don't have time. The entire military is after me. We gotta get you home. It's a race against the clock. <laughs> Nothing I can't handle. I've killed most of the guards to the north. So really, at a certain point, they won't be able to stop me anymore because everyone's dead. This is the apothecaries. We're going north, I think. I'm lost. Archway Arcade. We're going in the right direction, I think. I hope. 
I reckon we are. I think this is good. It's gotta be. It's, it's gotta be. Imagine tripping. Idiot. Where am I now? I know there's no more enemies. Don't worry, Lily. We're going the right way. All right, I know where we're going. Come on! Come on, Lily! How do you feel about some, how, how do you feel about, about two, four, two floor, two floor fall? This isn't the right way. All right, lucky you. We're not going this way. That was a, that was a lie. We're going the wrong way. We were going the wrong way. Where am I? Omega wrong way. We gotta go opposite direction. Hang on, I gotta get my compass out. Where the hell am I? Where the hell am I? We wanna go that way. All right, Lily. <laughs> first, first time I asked, it was sort of a joke. This time, though, it's for real. All right, I'm gonna need you to stick the landing onto that there uh, beam and wait there for me. All right, can you do that? Can you do that? You're gonna be fine. Go. She's good. All right, Lily, that's good. Now, next one. She's still alive. <laughs> Good landing, Lily. Nice job tucking and rolling. Ha! Cha! Cha! What made that sound? We've gone backwards, Lily. Lily, I have an update. <laughs> We've managed to go the complete wrong way, and you took that fall for nothing. Good news is though, this is the right way. Oh wait a minute, no, this is where I killed the guy that kidnapped you. Wait, but this way. This way is the right way. <laughs> this is, this is uh, not very good at navigating the city, if, even after all this time. I don't know where I am. Lily, I, I think I'm lost, but we're pretty close to your apartment. I just need to find a way to get you up a fucking giant cliff, which is, um, honestly, not looking good. Lily, we're going back down the sewers, Lily. This was the wrong way, Lily. Come on, Lily. I know you still got someone fighting you, Lily. Come on, let's roll. Oh, that was close. She almost fell in the water. A sewer water. Uh, that would probably not be good for her. Uh, but it's okay. Okay, where am I? <laughs> it's really, f I gotta go to Archway. Where the fuck am I? Archway, that way. All right, Lily, come on, stop laying around. Here we go, here we go. I know where we are now. Easy, I'm lost. Where the fuck am I going? Okay, we are following this path, in fact. We wanna go this way, then don't get distracted by the spooky alchemist. We wanna, where the fuck am I? Am I an idiot? Lily? Can you, uh, Lily, if you're gonna like not move, at least take this map and tell me where I'm going. Oh, there's this very, very difficult to see pathway right here. This could be better lit. This is poor building. This is poor structural design, Lily. <laughs> you believe the state of this city, Lily? It's a, it's a fucking mess. It's a, it's a goddamn mess, Lily. That's what it is. Come on. Uh -oh. Dead people everywhere. As far as the eye can see, just corpses, and most of them aren't even wearing shoes. We're getting close, Lily. Matter of fact, I think that's your house right there. I think this is literally her house. She's no worse for wear. What's that? 
If you walk in here, dude, it's like actually breaking and entering. Hey. Here she I is. It. I knew you'd bring her back. I just knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Lily. We gotta get you out of here. You talked, all right? No, don't ever talk to me. All right? I told you to leave the bag of money at the door. You made me walk this whole way. Just couldn't resist. Well, as he, I knocked him out because uh, I had to reset because there's no way that guard wasn't going to chase me up there. Should I see something? See? If you shoot me, you don't have to kill Lily too. <laughs> Dude, what about the arrows? Back! Curse you. Curse you. Don't worry, Lily. I got you. Let's get you out of here. I am almost positive she's dead. Chat, there's honestly odds are pretty high that she's gonna be fine! Lily, I knew you'd bring her back. I just knew it. By the builder's mercy, is she okay? Is she hurt? Please, I don't know. She doesn't get. It. She she needs to rest. I honestly, my guy, I am been doing this for a while. She hasn't moved. I'm it's unharmed. Uh huh. Can get to her. Thank you, Palmer. Thank you. I don't know what I'd have done without you. Yeah. You'll have to tell me all about it sometime. How you did it. And what about Marlowe? Is he still out there? Dead. Marlowe's dead. I followed his trail to an underground gambling den, and he didn't live long after that. Yeah, he uh, killed everyone in that building. <laughs> Every single person. What he deserved. Now, if this isn't something to drink to, I don't know what is. I've been keeping this bottle of Longside stashed away for just such an occasion. What do you say? I sure wouldn't mind a drink. But I still got some business to take care of tonight. Yeah, I gotta steal a church chalice from done, like a critter. skip still. town and lay low for a while to let things cool down. But I won't forget to take you up on that drink sometime. Fair enough, Palmer. After what you did for us, you'll always be welcome in our home. Thanks. Be well, my friend. Yep. Yep. Lily, I got good news, Lily! I'm taking you on another adventure! Come on, let's go! Let's go here! Here! We're going to go on more adventures, Lily! And did the objective actually complete? Am I like done? They took the objective away. Alright, Lily, fine! We'll <laughs> bring you back. Maybe he won't check. Maybe anyone's body will do. All right, here's Lily. He's pissed. Okay, I'll, all right, fine. I'll bring I'll bring Lily back again. I mean, she's dead. This is a- I'm scraping her face against the ground, trying to like get an angle to pick them up properly. Like, this person's dead. Dead, 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 omega oh, dead. Like, I just don't know what to tell you, my guy. She'll be fine. It seems she has to be on the bed or it doesn't count. Uh... been rescued. If you ever need my help again, you know who you know how you call me. All right, I I'll call you. Or so I'll you uh ha have a good day or night. You'll have to figure out what to do about that guy. Bye. He was baffled. He was baffled. He never expected me to grab Lily again and take her on another adventure. <laughs> I'll call you me. Goodbye. All right, chat, we're going back north. Well, south. I've got two things to do, still. 
Um, and that's leave at Kulst, the Kulst Gate. But um, we're going to the St. Albans Cathedral through Marlowe Manor because uh, we have a we have one last thing to do. Never hurts to steal a golden chalice from a cathedral. We know exactly where we're going, Jet. When did I kill this person? Whatever. What about the spoons? Good question. Why didn't you grab some while we were there? I told you to collect the spoons. Why didn't you get them? Am I supposed to do everything for the heist? What about the red door? There was no red door. I, ge I genuinely don't know what you're talking about. You idiot! Drop that weapon. Don't move. <laughs> no, I'll drop something. All right. Oh, I'll drop. I'll drop something. All right. If you could catch me, which you can't. We're gonna bamboozle him and we're gonna jump out the window. I don't need to kill this guy. I don't want to kill this guy. I'm pretty okay. I think I'm an all right person. And that guy was exploring strange places he shouldn't have been. He should have stayed in his goddamn lane. He's not gonna be able to stop me this time. He's not gonna be able to stop me this time. He's simply not gonna be able to. That was a psych out maneuver. I was just psyching you out. I'm going this way. Later, idiot. <laughs> You'll never stop me from stealing the holy chalice. Ha! We're out of here. Come on, chat. We got work to do. Dear Initiate Rufus, you shall find this letter atop your desk in the morn from in my studies of the, Psa the Psalms of St. Matthias. This eve, I have encountered not one, but two, but three faults in the paper unto which this holy text has been transcribed. Furthermore, I believe I can see every single point where filthy fingers have come to desecrate the paper. Given the ample evidence of such coarse handling, I cannot see how our holy manuscript shall endure an, a further millennium. And I should think your privileged apprenticeship at St. Albans Cathedral may come to an end far sooner. I have heard on several occasions that Chinsworth Abbey up in the mountains by Glenham is most welcoming towards young initiates in the wake of an incident at the local tower signed Master Archibald. <laughs> Not my problem. Hey chat, I don't think this is actually the way to the thing I'm looking for. Which, um, which one of these described the thing? Was it Bernard's journal? Pump house ownership. 
Yeah, that's down there. Abandoned chapel below the main structure of the pump house. We were at the pump house, weren't we? The pump house. So what am I doing right now? Is this kind of like just like a me thing? Just having some fun wandering around the church? Having some fun? Some light-hearted tomfoolery on the church? I'm gonna break my legs. Ah. Damn it. It all leads, it all loops back to the pump house, chat. <laughs> I should have known a mile away. Everything goes back to that goddamn pump house. I have no idea where the pump house actually is. It's not anywhere on my map. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Wasn't it by uh, the blacksmith? Wasn't it by Lower Street? It's like the sub. It's like the sewers. Red door, baby. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what this red door thing is. Like, people are just like, red, probably the red door. I don't know what you're talking about. There's a guy right there. Dude, it's the red door, dude. Come on. Fuck. Why doesn't he remember? He's got brain rot or something. Dude, I'm never gonna get back downstairs. Where, chat, all right, you can, if for some wild reason you actually know where the pump house is, you can tell me. I think I've been there. If someone like actually knows the map well enough to tell me, I think I've been to the pump house. But, um, man, I'm never gonna get down from here. I gotta go back to the room, like the building with the guard. He doesn't, it's behind the red door. I <laughs> It's called the Bridge Street Pump House. Go to Bridge Street. You know, that's actually the best advice I've been given all night. Thank you. <laughs> now where the hell was Bridge Street? Wait a minute, that's back at Bridge Street. I know that street. I at no point remember seeing a pump house at Bridge Street. Are you lying? No fucking way. He's locked onto me. Like, forget it. That guy's on me like fucking glue. Lower Street, that's not it. Lower Street substation, that's not it. That doesn't- The red door! No, that's not it either. I know it's not it. Red door. Where am I? We're near Archway. Hmm. Hmm. Go this way cut through here this map is so big okay we are at bridge street the question is where is the pump house that's not pump house this is archway again this looks like a house that pumps This is the alchemy store, not the pump house. Listen for pumping. Chat, well, I think it's obviously going to be in the sewers. Wait a minute. There's a vent. There's a vent right there. Right there, chat, there's a vent. I gotta get up there. I gotta get up there. I see a vent. It might lead to nothing, but it might lead to something. How do I, how the fuck am I gonna get up there? Oh. 
Ah, it all comes back to the elevator. Why am I not surprised? It all comes back to you, elevator. Where are you hiding the pump house? Imagine tripping. This house looks like it's full of pumps. And that looks like an old cathedral. Yes. But so does- th that's an old cathedral, though. This is like anything that's builder architecture. Jack, we're getting close to something I don't think any of us are ready for. There's even scary sounds starting to play. Alright, let's move. I don't know what the rats have been hiding in that sewer. But, <coughs> ow, fucking Christ. I am going to find out. Wait, this is just a storeroom again. Shit! I don't know where the pump house is. I thought this would be the pump house. This is a storeroom. It's not the pump house. Does anyone know where the pump house is? Anyone? I am going to follow my gut. And my gut... has only one idea. Ask a guard for help, they're all dead or dying or angry at me. I don't know how to fucking even consider that idea. It's just too much. It's just too much. I've antagonized them too much. Imagine tripping. Like, I, I've antagonized these assholes so much, they'd never want to hang out with me. This has to be the pump house. And if it's the pump house, then I might be able to do so. I, mm, mm, gosh, I don't know. Where would I pump? You know? Dead end. Dead end. God damn it, this is hard. Is it, it's tricky because there's so much map. And like, I have been very thorough. So when I'm suddenly still missing something, it's extra like baffling to me, you know what I mean? Like that clock tower feels like the, like not entryway, but like signifier that this is the old pump house. Hang on, I'm gonna check the note again. Cause that's about all the clue I have. Line, old Bridge Street pump house. The pump house main, used to be maintained by the builders till the city took ownership of it. So there is supposed to be an abandoned chapel uh, somewhere d below the main structure. There's rumored to be a holy reliquary down there. The chalice of St. Alban, the rub is no one knows where the entrance is. Look, this here is builder architecture. This is all I have to go off of, is that this is on Upper Bridge Street, and that's builder design there. Hang on. Hey, let me get up there for a second. I want to get to that. I think I might need to loop around to Alderman Street. Or go down this. What are the odds I survived this far? <clears throat> My body is just completely ravaged right now. I mean, I can tell you one thing for absolutely sure. Like, sure. This has to be the way to it. Hang on. I have to do, like, detective work. We have found the way in. Because remember, that, that, that guard thing reminded me. Let me loop back around here. We found this. This is the all this is the drop to the Alderman Street thing. Wait a minute, that fucking hang on! Hang on! I'm going up there. We have enough rope arrows to do it. I'm going up there. I don't have schemes. 
completely missed and that broke the arrow. I'm going to reload. I'm hanging. Well, keep hanging. All right. I can't fucking reach it. All right, I got there. Give me this. We have been here. I just wanted to confirm it. Now, anything in this general acquired a mine. This was the assassin's room. Remember, this is the assassin. But the thing is, here's what I'm, here's what I'm gandering. I, 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 I've got a, I've got an idea. First, I have to climb on this active power line and get back downstairs. Ow, fucking ow. Don't kill me. I don't want to die. Ow! Fuck! Whatever, this is fine. I have one more health potion. No, I don't. This is super not fine. Look, I don't need to save to do this part. I don't see any keys. I need to find the guard note. Is it this? Curry things would be the old Gwendolyn place. Foundling's pool. We never figured out what this was. We don't know what Gwendolyn place is. I don't think I have the method to chase that. That's the that's the sewer guys. Message to a guard, here we go. If you lost it, you lost it that. The only key to the cistern gate down there is with the sir, and he will not be bothered about the cheap, some cheap necklace. Serves you right. Who is the sir? Who the fuck is the sir? I don't know who the sir is. We need to find the sir. The key to get down there would be with the sir? I should check every key I have, because I might have it. I would have to murder every guard. Which I've already done. Hmm. <sighs> Out of my way, rat. I can tell you for absolutely sure, chat. Bulletproof guarantee. Okay. That the place I'm trying to get into. is down here and down one more wait no that's the that's the thieves it's down and right here in this spooky hallway no that goes up to the guy it's gotta be over here I, I eventually I'll get it right but this is also open who the hell am I is there even a place I need to unlock? Now I'm getting confused. Hang on, let me... That goes up to the fucking mansion. That's barricaded. This is the entrance to the mansion that the guard, that the thieves referenced. So this whole section is all good. You go down. There's no need to go into that way. Maybe I just don't know how to get to the chalice. Am I like an idiot moron? Cause that leads to the thief zone. Jesus, that water is fucking loud. That leads to the abyss. That's a scary like water tunnel there that I can't open. There is no extra way to go down here. Hang on. If I don't find it soon, I am going to just wrap up because I do have um, other stuff to do tonight. And if you really want to find every secret, I would definitely say uh, people can go do that. These levels are free. You passed it earlier. Well, tell me where it is if you've played the level because I'm, I'm at a loss here. Tell me where it is. Is it here in this section? Like where am I? 
Where am I going? Easiest way to find it is start the apothecary on Alderman and hug the right hand wall. Okay, I can do that. But will I need a key? Do I actually need to find a key to open the way? Because I think I don't have the key I need. I think I'm missing like directly the thing I need. Have you checked the red door? No, shut up! Okay, so right now I'm here, I gotta get to Alderman Street, which is actually uh, this way. You don't, as far as I can recall. Okay, so I'm at the Alchemist. I'm hugging the right side. I'm assuming I'm facing the door of the Alchemist and hugging the right side. The red door, my God. Red door, my God. This takes us back to the church. I don't think that's it. Other way. So, okay, so I'm... Papega, that's left. I was facing it. Okay, then I have to go... Then I have to go left facing it. Then, or right, if I'm leaving the alchemist. What was this? Hang on. Well, I'll get back to that in a minute. What was this weirdo room for? Who was this? I'm going in there. Hey, Jackass, what the hell is in this room? Out of my way. What were you hiding in here? The red door. You're right, chat. This was a weird room. Okay, thank God. You two are both wearing clothes. I was worried. I was worried I might, like, turn a corner and there would just be, like, someone naked. I'm afraid of that. It's just a weird red room. I'm actually, I, I have to turn off the display while I do this chat because I am worried this is like a, a, a sex den. And um, if I turn a corner and there's actual nudity, I could get banned because this is a mod, technically. I have to be, I have to like actually, I had to actually go upstairs and check. Okay, chat, update on the red room. It was just a red room. We're going back down. Where was I? Back to the, uh, back to the alchemist. Back to Alderman Street again. Why did I get in trouble for killing that guy before? You know, where's my compass? I would make this a little bit easier. I want to go this way. Okay, so once I get to the Alchemist, we are going to be hugging this wall. This is a crack. This is not the way. This brings me back to the exact place. Uh, it's, a, it's an easy to miss nook. Okay. Because I was just in there. I was literally in there. Go down the stairs. Chat, I was... Chat, I was in there. That was the sewer I was just wandering around. Is that where you were trying to take me? Go down the stairs and look up. You tell me there's like a tiny, is there a hole? All right. Mm. I see the beams. Oh, if that's it, that's very hard to see. All right. We're in. 
Good shit, this chat. Must be the buried chapel. That's really hard to find. To watch my step. I was already in the thing everyone was trying to tell me to go to. Oh, well, that was really easy. No ghosts. Oh, Jesus, ghost! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be taking this! The oh, fuck out of my way! Let's get the fuck out of this place. Time to finish the level. You were saying this map wasn't spooky? Did you think that was spooky? <laughs> was that? Did that one shiver your bones? Was that, was that spooky to you? They gave me holy water. I think the devs thought I would use the holy water uh, to defeat the zombie or the monster. Um, LOL. L LMAO. <laughs> Better luck next time. Now, where the hell am I? You want to go through here and then take a right. That's a wall. Take a left, then a right. What did I see there? Not me. No escape for you now. Unless I use these pipes. You think you're pretty smart. I'll help you. Drop that. Don't. Don't move. That's like, gotcha. You're mine now, son. Yeah. Ow, fuck. Yeah. 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 I'm getting out of here one way or another, Sonny. Wait, is that one more secret room I can break into? Hang on. Whoa, 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 hey. I'm getting in there. It's like a balcony. I can break into that. I've also never been in this fucking tunnel. This is absolutely the right way, though. Not this, though. This was just me checking a side corridor. Dude never saw you coming. Who could? I'm the knife street slasher. It actively, no one can ever see me coming. I also can't get down from here um, because I'll die. Well, I, I would die if I didn't have a rope arrow to get me down from here, of course. This is, of course, a rope wall. Okay. Well, I'll just use the rope that's already here to get down safely then. I don't... I, I was... I was genuinely... I climbed that way. Doesn't, nothing matters anymore. But I will steal whatever's in the, inside this last room to pad my pockets. Oh, yes. Naked. Naked. All right, chat, yeah, this is the place. All I gotta do is get gently down this here uh, ledge, and we're out of here. We got close enough to my goal. I need to wrap up the stream, so I'm gonna wrap it up. Have I gone? Which way am I going? This way. Wait, this way. This way. Yeah. It's a wall. You can't get through it. Drop that weapon and get it. You can't get through. It's a gate. You'd have to find a way around. It's time, chat. Let's get the hell out of it. This isn't the right way. All right, it's time, chat. Let me find the right way and then get the hell out of here exactly as I planned. That guy, that guy's like a marker I used to figure out which way I had to go, which is of course this way. Mission complete. We really bungled a lot of it. We, we bungled most of the mission. It was a big bungle, most of it, but hey, we did it. Mission statistics, I don't know if you wanna know. <laughs> Uh, let's see out here. We only we missed like two thousand loot. Not great, but it's a big fucking map. 
Uh, let's see here. I was, uh, 134 people were suspicious of me. 14 people actively searched for me. There were 39 sightings of the Knife Street Slasher. And 25 of those people that sighted me died. Uh, 33 people were KO'd by me. Uh, my stealth score was a smooth and, uh, easy 245. Which is to say, um... Not great. I also played on easy, but that was just so I didn't have to get gatekept by the, the, the money score uh, to an extent. And also the not being able to kill people, because I think we could all agree being able to off people in the um, dark mod is very fun. But yeah, that's the painter's wife. Pretty good level. Uh, definitely one of the best uh, for dark mod. Production of levels on the dark mod has slowed down a lot since it released, so I wouldn't be shocked if there aren't many more really, truly good ones. Um... Unless they're made by, like, genuinely this team. So, uh... This may be one of the last times we ever play it. Honestly. Because, um, I've done a lot of searching for, like, the best levels, and we've done most of them. But, yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. I, chat, am donezo. I will be back, however, tomorrow at the usual time. Uh, I got goblins after the stream. I'm mean, playing a. Uh, I got a couple of different options. It's gonna be good. I've got. I've got some mean games coming up. Some good stuff. Uh, and then Thursday will be phasmophobia with uh, Bed and Dave. That'll be also very fun. Checking out basically every single new bit of content since it released. We haven't played it properly since it released like a year ago. So lots of content there to do. All blind for me, so yeah. I saw some of the new update and I was like, it's time. So that'll be fun. That'll be fun. That'll be three of us. I had to have Bed send me his old save though, because my game save got deleted. And the only saves online are like level five thousand ten billion dollars. And I kind of like the risk of losing things in that game. So uh Bed had to send me a save. So I'm back to level nine, which is I believe where I was, so no biggie. All right, chat. If you gifted subs or donated or anything like that, thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate it. Dark Mod is always very fun. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I wanted to get around to finishing this level since it might be the last time I ever play it. So, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed yourself. I will be back tomorrow at 3.30 p.m.-ish EST. Next thing we do in the thief style game will be whenever the uh, thief two modders that made death's cold embrace make their next map pack, which they've been talking about uh, working on for years. So hopefully soon, that'll be the next thief thing we do in the next three to five years. Woo. Goodbye chat. Thanks for all the bits and donations and gifted subs. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>